Well, a very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another members only group flight live stream today. It's 16th of April 2023, three minutes past three in the afternoon, back in X-Plane 12 in the Zebo Mod 737 for the 40th. That's right, 40th members only Alpaca Airways group flight today. There's four groups. Uh, we're in group three, the first group leaving Oslo, uh, the second group leaving Hamburg, we're in group three leaving uh, Munich, and then there's four or five of you coming in from a long haul into London Heathrow. We had some last minute bookings as well. I think we're almost 50 people taking part in the group flight today, which is a lot more than we usually get. So thank you very much to all of those that uh, have taken part. Don't forget, if you do participate in the group flight and log on to VATSIM at least, uh, you'll get invited or in, entered into our giveaway. Uh, that's three uh, giveaways we're doing today. I say we, I. <laughs> Alpaca Airways Airlines is giving away uh, three giveaways. All the information is in the video description below. So once again, thank you very much for all those who take part. Uh, look how busy here is in Munich as well. Not only is there a number of other aircraft, there's a number of Alpacas here as well. We've got, uh, where are we going here? All of these Lufthansa's. Look, Alpaca 145, myself over here. We've got 95 Kilo Hotel. Um, we've got all the way over up here, one Echo Delta, uh, 25 Kilo, uh, 56 Michael Ema as well. So a number of other people departing from other places, as mentioned earlier as well. Uh, yes, I forgot to start the stream timer at the start. I've not streamed since Cross the Pond, which was over two weeks ago, and I completely lost the plot. Uh, we've got Orpho 4 XP for the entire sector. This is actually some X Plane 11 scenery, which is fully compatible with X Plane 12. It's a short final payware scenery from Munich, really high detailed. I've streamed here in the past into Munich as well in x 11. Installed perfectly as well with the Orpho 4 XP patch. Didn't take too long as well. Uh, who have we got here in chat then? Andy H1302 says, Good afternoon, Alpaca lad. Hope you're doing well. Berlin Flight is here as well. Greg Scott, two tons of love. Thanks for your help there. Got your Heathrow patch in. Uh, Captain Meow's here too. Brandon McCreet, list them in. Jonathan Wheelchair, are you a pro stream? Yes, I forgot the time. Okay. Uh, Andre Bjorn as well. And you've just come back from Corfu. Well, yes, I've been in Tenerife as well. Uh, lovely time to have a holiday. Hope you had a great time there, Jonathan Wheelchair. Uh, Alla Aston has, says, good afternoon, first Mog F I can watch live, absolutely, I hope you enjoy the sort of, uh, this is like the, the private monthly stream I do for you members, so it's a lot less busier in chat, so I can always get back to pretty much everyone else uh, when their workload's low, so feel free to ask questions as per usual. Uh, Truckerboy88 is also his first time participating in a group flight, people doing well. Uh, Flying Walnut is here, Edo2, and that's pretty much everyone here, I've caught. Vats and flow restrictions in effect from Scottish, Manchester and London, way to go Mog F, yes, very, very busy uh, because Manchester's doing an event in the Vats of UK which which I didn't realise at the time of organising this group flight and I thought oh, maybe we can go into Manchester but I thought mm, we'll stick with FIFA and see how they get on but yeah look how busy it is here. Uh, we're on stand 217 or 218 I think it was uh, all cold and dark uh, all uh, pretty much uh, ready to get going as well. We're due out in 25 minutes so I've got a checklist of things uh, and like that to run as well. You can just see a Lufthansa just taken off there. Of course an Airbus Airbus everywhere but I flew on Airbus bus on the way back from my holiday with Jet 2. It was actually quite a nice aeroplane. Very spacious in the cabin. I was quite impressed with it. Oh, look at that. Pretty much perfectly spawned uh, into my uh, head. That's superb. Right, let's turn the music down here and get the show on the road. So, uh, battery on, GPUs on the bus, uh, electric hydraulic pumps we can pop on, land gear lever is down. We have one, two, three, four, five, six green lights. We tend to check the aircraft's documentation and the ship's library. Uh, let's do the fault and fire test. So, down here, check the squibs. Six green lights, uh, fault, we've got a fault tape, heat detector, and optimal master caution overheat detector. Fire warning, fire warning lights, wheel well engine overheat lights are illuminated, the bell and the fire warning light with overheat detector. Uh, Arm emergency exit lights, push the attend button. Uh, here's the OPT performance, which I worked out just prior to the stream, which I'll share with you shortly. And here's the operational flight plan. Uh, standard fuel will be 6.5 tonnes, recommended by London Heathrow, Vatsim UK, provided ATC. Not only actually Vatsim UK, but Vatsim Germany and Scandinavia have all come on board to provide ATC for the group flight. So if you get a chance, please send them a message say thank you very much to the ATC for the group flight. That will be appreciated. Um, anyway, um, we're going to take an hour's worth of extra fuel, and that's about 2.5 tonnes, 2.4 tonnes in the 737-800. So if we take 9 tonnes, that's an hour's worth of holding fuel. Uh, so we're going to go here, 9 tonnes, enter. We're going to take 181 passengers as well. Uh, it gets quite close to our max landing weight with that holding fuel. So... No, not... Hey. I don't think... No, no, that's modelled yet, unfortunately. I thought that might have been a takeoff for this guy going to there. Um, that's that done. So we'll go back here and payload. 
Oh, it's been so long since I've flown the mod. How do I get the fuel? Ground flight deck hose disconnected and starting a refueling. Excellent. We've got all the 181 passengers on board as well. Um, Dolo Rosina says hello. Hope you're doing well as well. Nice to see you in chat. Um, fueling's on the way then. We'll test the attend button. Um, check the flaps up, which match the indicated position. We'll load up the FMC shortly. Um, do a quick takeoff config check. Stub trim color switches are in normal. Test the fire warning, forward aft. Should discharge light be on? Yeah, I think so. Uh, fire warning lights illuminated too. And rudder radar on trim is free and zero. Gear extension doors closed. Oh, we're back in Australia. It's still doing that X-Plane 12. It's a camera bug. Wait, how do I... I can't seem to be able to reset it now. There we are. Uh, check the uh, gear extension door we've done. The circuit breakers are in up here on the overhead panel. Flight recorder's checked. Need to wait a little bit longer for the stall warning test. IRS to nav. And check the circuit breakers this side. Check the tech log. Emergency equipment's all installed. Crash acts, etc. And we can start boarding the aircraft. There we are, start the flight leg. Uh, Maverick says hello. <laughs> just, just call me Sam, it's fine. Uh, flying soon. Can't fly today, too tired for work, but happy to watch. Oh, I'm just a shame, Mavericks, but uh, hope you can make the next one. Brendan McCreek's long flight from Australia to Heathrow at a 737. Indeed! <laughs> Although we were briefly there whilst I was upside down in the camera view. Uh, right, let's grab the ATIS, which is 123, 125. Then we'll grab our clearance as well. Sounds like. Atis is not on voice unless I've got the volume turned down. No. Oh, I'll, I'll get it on tech. So it's uh, Munich Information Kilo. And I have forgotten my pen and paper for the stream. So let me get that out now. Um, information Kilo. Uh, expect vectors for ILS approach. 26 left and 26 right in use. And uh, transition level 60. Uh, one six zero at four knots. So slight tailwind for departure. Scattered two thousand three hundred. Uh, broken at three thousand eight hundred. Overcast at four thousand five hundred. Explain it's raining though. Uh, temperature is nine. Dew point five. QNH is one zero one eight. No significant changes, and that's information kilo. So we can set the QNH one zero one eight. Uh, MFRA, which I'll get from the takeoff performance calculator, is two seven five four. Oops, wrong one. Two seven five four, which I'm setting here. Oof, that zoomed up. Perfect. And what I'll do, I'll actually grab the clearance now, just to make sure that seems all working okay. Can start loading up the FMC. We're due out in 20 minutes, but you can get your clearance typically um, 20 to 30 minutes before you're due out. Calling call central is Busy, busy here. Uh, like traffic we saw. So we'll, we'll just listen out because it's quite busy and we'll just get the FMC loaded whilst we listen for a gap in the radio. Um, so here's the operational flying plan. Ident, uh, we're in Munich, which is Echo Delta Delta Mike. Oh, so busy. GPS left. And uh, flying to London Heathrow, Echo Golf Lima Lima. Call sign is Alpaca 40 Golf Foxtrot. Departure. Expecting 26 left. And uh, it'll be an input to Sierra. A lot of people going to Frankfurt. Is there an event in Frankfurt today? It's the second person we're getting close to. Uh, Yankee 102. Alibu. Uh, Lima 604. To Mazig. Tivan. Tornu. Direct to Breda. Uh, Abned. 
Lehman 90, Logan. Ground flight deck, fuel is all loaded up and you are good to go. Good, fuel is done. So Logan, we expect a Logan 2 hotel from the east. ILS 27 right via Lambourne. Activate, execute. Zero fuel eight, we can punch in. 58.9, our alternate is Gatwick. And some of these two is 2.2 tons. Cost index 30. We're cruising at 36,000 feet today, which is already on the overhead paddle there. Uh, top climb wind. 018 at 33. One degrees. And if we have a look at the OPT from the real performance calculator, which I did at uh, 20 minutes before the start of the stream. Uh, 26 left, fire Bravo 12 intersection, wet is good. 1605, 10 degrees, 1018. So uh, it was 9 when I. Uh, it's 9 now, but it was 10 when I got the performance calculator. 1018 optimum, flat 5 auto, off and off. And that says with 24k. We can take 24k with an assumed temperature of 32 degrees. Uh, it should be 93.1, 92.4. So what we do when the hold on, let me just check here, 32 degrees. Um, when we put the APU bleed on, this will reduce by 0.7, so it will say 92.4. So that's when I put the APU bleed on, that will decrease to that amount. So the looks accurate. Uh, flat five. Uh, wet speeds should be 34, 43, 38, 34, 42, 48. It's so all within knots. The OPT, real OPT is matching what the, the bond's saying, which is good. Uh, CG, uh, 20%, which is what we use in the mod as well today. Six units of trim, six units of trim. So you can actually double tap it, it's actually 19.9. So I got, I, I got all the trim matched out today. There we are, six units is set. There we are, so that's that bit done. Let's have a look here in chat. Um, Jonathan Wiltshire, why does the Mac warning test have to wait? Does it depend on something else and why? Yeah, so when you turn the uh, IRS to NAV, uh, or no, once you've got an AC power, it takes four minutes before you can do the test. So if you see now, it'll work, but why I don't exactly know. But yeah, four minutes of AC power is required prior to the stall warning test being available to complete and it's quoted in the manual why exactly I don't know that was one for an engineer but yet you'd have to wait four minutes and like in the real aircraft too. Uh, Lee Holcroft uh, on the way out to Oslo boss see you at Heathrow have a safe flight buddy. Uh, Rasmus380 hello everyone soon pushing at uh, Hamburg see you all at Heathrow good luck to you as well. Uh, Brendan have you ever flown to Heathrow before captain? No my operator doesn't fly to Heathrow. Uh, Mavericks is there a reason why your company or any other company for that matter doesn't use the company route feature? Uh, no idea Mavericks probably a financial thing maybe it's an extra cost, but we have to enter the manual uh, routing manually every single sector. Uh, so that's uh, that's why we have to do it. Uh, Jump water, curious. Yes, tag engineer in Discord, uh, and then we'll get some help there. Right, wheel dampers on, fuel four pumps. We can actually pop six pumps on because if you check here, look, we have a ton in the centre. Check the cross feed valve, bright, dim, bright, off. Uh, looks like people are getting start-up times as well. Uh, Seatbelt sign can come on, fueling's done, window heat on, uh, voice recorder's on, Pax auto, that's all set. Flight directors can come on as well. Tadar now sits, the MCP is all set up for that, all the brake to RTO. Reset the fuel flow, trim is set, and so is the pedestal. Pretty much all ready to go. We'll try and grab our clearance now. Uh, Brendan McCree, what's the purpose of the yaw damper? Can you fly without it? Um, can you dispatch without it? I need to check the the MEL. I'll have a look at that shortly. Um, essentially, it prevents the phenomenal called Dutch roll, which is uncoordinated uh, turns, valor on and rudder inputs. Quite nasty, actually. Um, but it also has a secondary effect of dampening out any excessive turbulence and, and roll rates uh, and help coordinate turns, too, um, without pilot input. But, uh, yeah, do we require for dispatch? I'll, I'll double-check the MEL for you. Remind me in the cruise if I do forget.
Sam Heaton just south of um, Iceland Boss should be arriving here for about 16.15. Oh, you'll be way before me. Way before me, I'm trying 12 minutes. Just remember to do the oxygen test. Holding down for emergency. There should be a little X there, but it's not models. I'll do a lice test as well for the checklist. Forward, Alpha, ready for push and start. Perfect. Perfect. What was our stand number? 2-8. Uh, clearance, very good afternoon, Alpaca 4-0, Golf, uh, Foxtrot stand, 2-1-8, uh, information, uh, Kilo, one zero one eight departure clearance to Heathrow, please. Good to Heathrow on the input to November departure. Climb flight level 70, Squawk 2334, three, Alpaca 40, Golf Foxtrot. Alpaca 40, Golf Foxtrot, we pick click, confirm, off clock time 1430 planned. Uh, planned for 1430, firm Alpaca 40, Golf Foxtrot. Alpaca Golf Foxtrot, venture. So, first time ever, that's in Germany. It's very typical German efficiency. They asked for all of our off block times and they are working off that. They're going to try and get you guys off based off your block times, which is really cool. Um, I mean, I just sent it over and they were like, oh, thanks for the times. We will work with that. <laughs> so they know that our, you know, our members only group flight alpaca uh, scheduled block times, which is really cool. So yeah, he, he would have seen the list and gone, right, Mr. 40 Golf Foxtrot, you're due out at 14.30. So they're, they're sort of building that into the uh, to ensure there's sufficient capacity, which is why we assign the times in the first place. Right, so seven zero, slightly different SID though. It's the uh, input to Tango. Uh, sorry, input to November. Is that off another runway? I wonder. No, input to November. Runway not ah, so it's a different runway. Two six right, bit of a bit of a taxi. That's fine. Uh, can you please confirm for a push at 1 1 4 thank you. Mr. Westby, it's 1.48. So I haven't got the performance for that runway. Uh, let's have a look here. It's a bit of a slightly longer taxi now. I presume taxiing off Bravo 12, 4,000 metres. This is also 4,000 metres, so we'll, we'll have to take. We can take Alpha 12, I'll leave the performance as it is. Actually, you know what? Because I've got I've got the APT right in front of me. Let me just have a quick look here. Two six right via Alpha Twelve wet runway. The real APT says, excuse me, because I know you guys can't see it. Uh, I can. It's exactly the same. Reduce twenty four k thirty two degrees. So there we are. I can take Alpha Twelve for two six right. Good to November. Two six right. Catch it two six. Go. Oh, it's the, oh, it's the same chart. So input two November. It's off two six right now. Um, so taxi, you're going to push back to either the centre line, the east line, or the west line. Out via November three, November four. Right turn onto November or Mike, and then full length or Alpha twelve figures. We've got four. Departure. Climb flight level seven zero, which is set there. I forgot to set the squawk, which was two three three four. And we're going to climb on 261 to DM066, DM066, right turn to DM064, DM064, max 220 for that turn, and then DM065, and then to input max 250 at 065. And after input, it's direct to Upala, which is the first waypoint after input on the flight plan. Uh, it's just a straight line. And the stop level 70, we'll set that twice. 7-0, execute. So happy with that. RNAV SID, check the routing at CFMC. Uh, remain on frequency till transfer, exactly. Uh, perfect, I think we briefed everything. We'll just do the, do the checklist. We're due at 7 minutes as well. 
Oh, it's doing that clicking thing again. It was up here, wasn't it? Yeah, you got to leave that on PA, otherwise you get this annoying clicking in the Zebo mod. Um, let's have a look here in Chad. Jonathan, the EOBT show up in the controller system through the fly plans if set as well. So that's always helpful to do. Ah, I did not know that. So yeah, I mean, I, I guess everyone like me matches their off-block time to your the one I, I um, assigned for you guys, so that's pretty cool. Rob's in, that's perfect use of the off-block times, absolutely. It's what it's designed to do, it just uh, spread out the traffic, otherwise it'll all be requesting push and start at the same time. Uh, there'll be a day you do a light test for the fun of it, it crashes the sim. Uh, probably. <laughs> John, I'll turn it on and the whole thing will just go... Uh, excellent, excellent. Right, let's run the checklist. Safety inspection checklist. Surfaces and chocks. Checked. Maintenance status. Checked. Battery. On. Electric hydraulic pumps. On. Landing gear lever. Down. Ship's library. Checked. Safety inspection checklist complete. Perfect. I'm going to get the tug attached. That's what I did earlier on my test sector. Ground to cockpit. Tow driving up. Before start, to Before the line. start checklist to the line. IRS mode selectors. Nav. Gear pins. Removed. Light test. Checked. Oxygen. Tested 100%. Your damper. On. Nav transfer and display switches. PA on no part two. Do you want me to do a PA Fuel. today? <laughs> I've got time. Uh, so fuel. We require a minimum of 6486. We've signed for 9 tons. That's all we've got on board. Checked. Fuel pumps. 6 pumps on. Cabin util IFE galley power. On. Emergency exit lights. Arm. Fasten belts. On. Window heat. On. Air conditioning. Picks auto bleeds on. Pressurization. So 360 100. Okay. Pressurization mode selector. Auto. Instruments. Cross checked. Auto brake. RTO. Hydraulics. Normal. Speed brake. Down D10. Parking brake. Set. Stab trim cutout switches. Normal. Wheel well fire warning. Checked. Radios, radar, and transponder. Set and stand by. Rudder and aileron trim. Three and zero. Takeoff briefing. That's discussed. discussed. PA. I vote for PA, absolutely. Bet you thought we'd never ask again. <sighs> right. I must not say my operator's call sign. <laughs> right. Hopefully the airbridge should be dis detached before we start getting lifted, but never mind. Uh, yeah, so sorry, like. Good afternoon for the fly deck, captain speaking. My name's Sam. I'd like to welcome aboard this Alpaca Airways flight to London Heathrow. Joining me in the flight deck is Jim, and in the back you've got Jack, Jill, and Bill. <laughs> and Phil! <laughs> Expecting on time departure today, no ATC restrictions. I say that a lot at the moment. Taxiing uh, out to runway 26 right, right turn after departure. Uh, <laughs> Route 6 going to take us northbound. Uh, over to Germany and then left turn towards Brussels across the east part of the English Channel directly towards London. Uh, flight time 1 hour 30 minutes, 36,000 feet today, nice day to go fly, smooth conditions right now in London. Similar conditions here, a little bit uh, cloudy. What is, what is the temperature? About 11 degrees. Whilst doors are closed, Carol crew will be showing you a safety demonstration. This is your safety. And for those around you, please ask him at your full uh, attention and you're very welcome aboard. Complete. There you FMC go. CDU. <laughs> Is uh, so I want take off legs. Set N1 and IAS books. N1 and IAS auto. V speed set. <laughs> Stab trim. Make sure set. It. Performance, weight, and balance. That's all done. So we check performance, and we're very fortunate in this day and age. We just simply preload the OPT with the information from the ATIS, put in our take off weight using the weight and balance tab. It spits out speeds. Make sure everything is. As it should be. It even allows for MEL items and CDLs, so it's, it's pretty awesome. Checked. EFB. Airplane mode installed. Phones. Off. Flight deck windows and cockpit door. Not again. Ah, uh, yes, that's fine. Closed. Doors. Yeah, Closed. I won't forget. Passengers. It's open Seated. at the moment. Which Before is start checklist completed to the line. Last bits of paperwork. Look at that for time. We've got two minutes left to go. Two minutes left to go. Um. Excellent. Let's see if anyone's actually managed to taxi out. We've got a Lufthansa taking off. We've got a couple of alpacas taking Alpha 12. One Echo Delta, 4711. We've got a Tui taxiing. 
We've taken the off-road route today along the grass. Maybe, maybe he's got the Microsoft Flight Sim scenery. Uh, and 95 Kilo Hotel. Superb. We've got the other aircraft landing here. Super busy, but it seems to be uh, going very smoothly out there. Excellent, excellent. Oh, Jonathan. Well, I'm on my annual leave at the moment, so I've had a week off, I was in holiday in Tenerife, but my last week before annual leave was, well, it was awful. Uh, slots were insane, but the thing was they weren't improving. Usually slots, 75 percent of the time they improve. Every single one of ours didn't improve, and there were like hour and a half, two hour delays on every sector. And we went to discretion twice that week, you know, really long duties. It seems to have calmed down now. You probably threw me then, Sam. On on undisclosed airline. <laughs> Uros, hope you're doing well. Berlin flight busy out here. Uh, at Munich, holding points are all stacked. I really for 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 arrivals into Munich. Yeah, you can see the aircrafts. Aircraft coming in. So there must be an event going on, because I've heard several aircraft going into Frankfurt. Hey Ross, if you go to the outside view, does the Lufthansa understand to your left look like it has a gear collapse? Or is it my x plane? Oh. <laughs> yes, he's. he's pit he was pitching, he seems to have reset himself, but yes, he was definitely. Definitely wheeling along there for a second. Wait, where am I? Is there an aeroplane on me? Yes, I've got a Lufthansa spawning on me. Get out of here. Clipping air buses. Uh, th so we basically, basically went round France yesterday. Yeah, a lot of flights are avoiding French, French airspace at the moment for that very reason. But if you're coming back from Corfu, you would do anyway. For the UK. Oh, I'm sure you're going to be the first one in to Heathrow. Cool. Alpaca 40 Golf Foxtrot Stand 218 request push and start. Sierra, information Lima, startup approved. Cleared card for the Baden Baden Rita, 6 Sierra departure, flight plan routes, Kappa asset, flight level 7 0, Squawk 1000. Squawk 1000. Startup approved, cleared to Karlsruhe via Rita, 6 Sierra departure, flight plan route, Kappa asset, flight level 7 0, Squawk 1000, Twitch at 2 Sierra. Yeah, they always do well, the German controllers. controllers. Man has a fellow German. Your friends uh, know what they're doing. The Alpaca 40 Golf Foxtrot uh, Stand 218 request push to start. Alpaca 40 Golf Foxtrot Stand of approved for pushback contact April 1.7. Bye bye. 1 to 1 decimal 7. Alpaca 40 Golf Foxtrot. Bye. Uh, so. Did I hear a press on the radio? Apron, uh, good night, uh, Packer 40, Golf Foxtrot, stand 218, request push. Packer 40, Golf Foxtrot, Apron, hello, push back approved, facing north. Push through facing north, Alpaca 40, Golf Foxtrot, and just is that uh, onto the centre line? Uh, Alpaca 4-0, Golf Foxtrot negative from Whisky 2. Uh, Wilco Whisky 2, Alpaca 4-0, Golf Foxtrot with you. Perfect, so... Then I'm going to push back. Please show me where you want to go. So Whisky is the closest line to us. Something like that. Something like that. Tau connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Perfect, so that should shut the door automatically with Sam. There we go, and we'll just do the checks below the line. Before start checklist below the line, air conditioning packs. Off. Anti-collision light. On. Parking brake. Sit. Transponder. Out of. Before start checklist complete. Perfect. Parking brake released. Off we go. 
Look at that for an on time pushback. Starting pushback, and you may start the engines. Oh, everything's just working according to plan. Oh, Pratt. <laughs> Did start the <laughs> What did I say ten seconds previously? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I wish I could do a quick APU start. That wouldn't happen in real life. That yeah, very realistic. Yeah. <laughs> The engine won't start either, so uh, we do need the APU. As you can see, look, N2 is not increasing. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Don't, you don't need to clip this. <laughs> Starting engine number two. <laughs> Why is Master Caution blinking? That doesn't work. I should be doing that. Dual bleed. Off on. Off on. Oh, yeah, let's just reset that. It's all good. It's all good. I'm not, I'm not even looking at chat. Oh, come on, engine. There it goes. Uh, it should be in. Accelerating a little quicker, maybe it just didn't like me turning off and on the APU. Accelerating, but very, very, very slowly. <laughs> Listen, the ground crew wouldn't let me push with the ground power still connected. I can promise you that. But I'm very concerned at the acceleration rate of N2. Short fight, the steamer is excellent, isn't it? The uh, short final of Munich. Yep, good one. Come on. That's good. Look, you'd have to reset that. And also, your damper would trip. Very well modelled look if you lose AC power. Please have parking brake. Oh, you set your voice recorder would too as well. That trip. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. That moved to auto automatically. He's got the engine still. Uh, your taxi in the wrong direction. Hold position. Call back. Oh dear. Okay, only position. Okay, start going out. Two, four, six, three. Two stable. Starting one. That's better. That's the correct acceleration rate. I think I fixed it. Head two. Oil oh, pressure, head one. Is an AP part of the before start checklist, pre flight checklist? It isn't, no. You just do it. Because there isn't really a set time to turn it on. If you've got a slot, you might want to turn it on later. If you want, you might. We aim to do it just before pushback, unless. Oh, this is connected, and bypass pin has been removed, and signal on the left. I'll see you next What's time. Have a great flight. It's just bubble match, doesn't it? An A310 livery. Start account monitoring engine number one, one and two stable. Let's do the four taxi fire. Don't need anti ice. There we go. Flaps two, five. There's yoke cab coming on. Full forward, full back, left and right. Here comes the rudders, full right and full left. Recall, blank the lower DU. It's all good, it's all good. Before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist. Generators. On. APU. Off. Start switches. Trimester. Continuous. Probe heat. Thanks. Anti ice. <laughs> off. That's air actually not on a checklist either. Auto, but it's part of the air conditioning and pressurization. Isolation flow. valve. Auto. Flaps. Not again. <sighs> what? No, that's good. Five, five green light. That's good. It's a little bug. Flips five required and selected. Green light. Stab trim. Set. Start levers. Idle detent. Flight controls. Checked. Recall. Checked. Before taxi checklist complete. Yeah, that's better. Right, let's request taxi. Alpaca 40 Golf Fox drop request taxi. Alpaca 40 Golf Fox drop taxi to enter November 4 via Risky to Delta 1. Taxi to 
Passion November 4, Whiskey 2 and Delta 1, Outback 4, Zero, Gold 4, Strong. So, I've got this awesome chart up here from Navigraph up. So, you're going to go straight ahead, November 4, which is here, Delta 2, where is that? We're going to say it, Whiskey, Delta 2, which is the middle one. Uh, sorry, Whiskey 2, Whiskey 2, Delta 1. November 4. Okay, that's good. Right. Config. There we are. November 4 via Whiskey 2 Delta 1. A little bit too much force there for my own self. So busy here. Yeah, I, I trim it, it was off. I've already turned it back on. Had forgotten. Yeah, X-Plane 12 is getting really good now. It looks great, sounds great. For those of you who watched it Discord earlier, the test segment went well, a few little VNAV quirks, but overall, pretty good. Delta 1, which is right there. Uh, trim air basically distributes warm air to each of the, the different zones, Mavericks. There's the packs will cool the air. Instead of changing the temperature of the packs, which is inefficient, they'll reintroduce warm air uh, into either the, the, the cabin or the, or the front, most this goes into the cockpit, the forward cabin, aft cabin, uh, using warm or hot air, and that's called trimming. It's great. I, I wanted to make sure I had the, the default, uh, the high quality scenery installed, because all the taxi lines are, are coloured here, look. And the blue. And then the uh, next right is going to be Delta 1. Roger, November 4, 5, Lima Romeo, follow the Boeing 737 800 to end for Lima 4. And then we're going to hold at November 4. Follow the 737 800 to end for Lima 4. So we're going to take a right here. Packer 4, 0, Gold, Foxport, contact matching ground, 1 to 1, this is the main liner, 7 to 5, 7 to 5, bye bye. At 1 to 1, 9 to 7 to 5, our Packer 4, 0, Gold, Foxport, bye bye. It's so busy, it's awesome. Packer 4, 0, Gold, Foxport, bye bye. It's so busy, it's awesome. Packer 4, 0, Gold, Foxport, bye bye. It's so busy, it's awesome. Packer 4, 0, Gold, Foxport, bye bye. It's so busy, it's awesome. Packer 4, 0, Gold, Foxport, bye bye. It's so busy, it's awesome. Packer 4, 0, Gold, Foxport, bye bye. It's so busy, it's awesome. Packer 4, 0, Gold, Foxport, bye bye. It's so busy, it's awesome. Packer 4, 0, Gold, which is just here, so entry November 4, so we'll hold on the bridge. Clear and right. Uh, and what was the fix? 121775. Perfect. I think that was the right fix, I wasn't listening. As, but, as well as I should have been. Good evening, Alpaca 40, Golf Foxtrot, November 4. Alpaca 40, Golf Foxtrot, contact München, Oops. ground 1 to 1 to 9 75. Uh, my apologies, 1 to 1 9 75, Alpaca 40, Golf Foxtrot, juice. <laughs> yeah, whoops. <laughs> Fa thanks, Brendan, I wish I read chat first. 50 <laughs> 50. Amateur ground, uh, good evening, it's Alpaca 40, Golf Foxtrot, uh, November 4. Alpaca 40, Golf Foxtrot, 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 Alpaca 40, Golf Uh, sorry, just confirm, was that via my call November to uh, Alpha 1-3? November Alpha 1-3. Welcome November 1, Alpha 1-3, one, November one, Alpha one three, Alpaca 4 0 Golf Foxtrot. So I've never been here before in Munich in real life, so I don't know if it's like um, Schiphol with um, like a different uh, sort of system, like uh, Mike, Mike's clock left to right and November's right to left, so I just want to make sure. There we are. 
So we're on November and we're going to Alpha 1 3, which isn't quite full length, but uh, it's not Alpha 1 2. He flies on whatever, so he totally falls to pieces. <laughs> Absolutely. But, yeah, we're all human, we all make mistakes, especially single pilot in these aircraft, so you should never get embarrassed by it. Right, let's do the before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist to the line. Config. Checked. Flaps. Flips 5 set. Green light. Stab trim. Set. Takeoff briefing. So, overhead panel. Packs order bleeds on. V speeds are wet. 34, 42, 48 on the MCP. That's because we lost AC power, look. We lost AC power, which does reset that, I think. Um, V2 set. And uh, departures now at input to November, straight ahead to, what's that waypoint called, uh, 66, DM 066, and left turn north to 064, stop flight level 70, set twice, and ADP 2, and we'll um, accelerate an event of an engine failure, runway heading to 4,000 feet, which is the MSA to the west. Uh, so that's reviewed. Reviewed. Cabin. Secure. Before takeoff checklist completed to the line. Perfect. Cabin secure. Lost AC power, he says it like it failed on him! <laughs> Unbelievable. We got about. It wasn't my fault. Right, let's try not make it another say Alpha 10, Alpha 12, Alpha 1, 3 is up here. Uh, Alex, what about V2 plus 15? No, just V2 on the MCP. Uh, Mesa, can you dispatch with both first reverses or not? No, you need one reverser at least for dispatch. I have dispatched quite recently with only one reverser. Uh, 118 decimal 7, Alpaca 40, Golf Foster, choose. Well, this has been. I don't think we've done a lot of group flights, 40 group flights. See how busy the airport is? It's been extremely, let's just say German. <laughs> the way they've got this all out here, extremely efficient. No problems at all. No delays at the whole point. It's just worked really well. Amsterdam radar closing due to workload. Oh, poor guy. One Charlie Hotel behind landing company. Using both runways for departure as well. Boeing 789. Line up and wait for me to lift left behind. Line up and wait behind landing company 787. Behind left of the one Charlie Hotel. Alpha 13, so next left. Alpha 117, traveling from Delta Alpha 62 is circling 2 miles south of the threshold coming to the left. There's Alpha 1 3. There's so many departure frequencies. I think I've selected the wrong one. Uh, tower, very good evening. I'll pack a 4 0 Golf Fox on Taxi and Hold Point Alpha 1 3 for runway uh, 2 6. Uh, right, ready for departure. Hey, 26 right, good take off, Alpaca 40 Golf Fox Drop. Would you look at that? How efficient. We're ready to go. Right, below the line. I don't think that's the first group flight where I've never had to wait at a whole point. <laughs> that's crazy. Super, so efficient. It's so, so busy here as well. Rolling take off, I reckon, guys. So let's go below the line. Before takeoff checklist below the line, MCP, Sit. transponder, T A R A, strobe lights, 
On. Landing lights. On. Before takeoff checklist complete. Superb. How efficient was this? Right, rolling takeoff then. Timing. We've got Alpha 1 2 figures all the way down here, so we can roll quite away before we set uh, takeoff thrust. Uh, Munich, Colorado, Eurings, can you please repeat the uh, next frequency? I think at that centered. Perfect. Stabilized, looking good. Set takeoff thrust. So, takeoff thrust set, indications normal. Check to respond pressure. Zemo's fixed it now, the nose doesn't come up prior to VR on its own, which is good. Add up the thrust levers. Routine. Up we go. Lost a bit of thrust there. It's a bit weird. Lovely rotation. Gears coming up. Nice dead band there. Lost a bit of thrust. Lost 2.2. Accelerating, flat swap. Yes, cameras in a bit of a bad position, isn't it? Flight yeah. director's a little bit higher to accelerate, it should be lower. It should be lower. It's, it's commanding too high an attitude. Look, I'm following the flight directors. Yeah, it should be doing about a thousand feet per minute there, so I'll, I'll, I didn't do that in my test sector. So I'm going to put the attitude to 10 degrees. Thumbs up. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that high yet. He hasn't handed me over, has he? Now we're going to talk about four zero zero four. I'll talk about four hundred fifty. Speed. 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 Why did it bug the speed all the way back there? That's incorrect. Flaps are up. Yeah, that was a massive bug. It, it commanded that I'd already bugged up and it went all the way back to 168 knots. Right, quarter pilots back in there. Well, it seems to be doing some weird stuff it didn't, I've never seen it do before. Let's see what I know. Sid has speed restriction quite late in. 250 knots, 220 knots or below should be fine then. Turbo, left 250 now. Uh, Munchen, hello, it's Alpaca 4-0, Golf Foxtrots on the input to November, passing 6-0, flight level 7-0. 4-0, Golf Foxtrot, Munchen, hello, identified, clamp, flight level 1-9-0. Thiasic, clamp, flight level 1-9-0, Alpaca 4-0, Golf Foxtrot. So, 1-9-0 set, out into the vent, VNAV, standard set, passing 6-3, flight of 1-9-0, I'll to take up checklist. Air conditioning pressurisation, 2.0 climbing. Set, switch to crew. And standard set, passing 7-1-9-0, I'll have to take up checklist complete. On our way, guys. Nice departure. Yeah, a bit of a weird. Uh, maybe it's because of the loss of AC power. Yeah, little fingers flying left, right, centre to you, not soon. Inbound 
Oh, he's got a little time delay, but two of the fans are blocking my push. Ah, oh, lucky Liam. Yeah, it was very well done by ATC there. Mm -hmm. We should be landing at 5.15. Some other radio issues. Uh, how many Germans do you need to put a light bulb in the ceiling? One, we're efficient and don't understand as you are. Why are we out so smoothly? No delay at all. Very unmogf like Alexander Vess. You didn't do a flyby? You, you must have not been witching, watching that bit, Brendan. I did a flyby at about 800 feet. I'll do another one. There we go. Anyway, pre cruise checks. A bit late. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, aggressive there. Passing 12190, pre cruise checks then, so fuel, six bumps, lights. Okay. 132550, back of 40, Golf Fox, drop by. Uh, Launching radar. Evening is half packer four zero Golf Fox truck climb flight level one nine zero on the input to November. Hello, packer four zero Golf Fox should be identified. Route direct to test two, climb flight level three hundred. Hi, uh, climb flight level 300, and now routing direct to Tesdu, our packer four zero Golf Fox truck. So that is correct. Then what is your request for flight level today? Request flight level three six zero, please, our packer four zero Golf Fox truck. Okay, three hundred Tesdu execute LNAV. And V now is engaged. Oops, reset my camera. Uh, so fuel six pumps, lights are off. APU's off, pressurization 3.8 and set. Let the passengers go, recall to a bit of cloud here, engine anti ice coming on. Please say again, your wings for seven and one. Oh yes, of course, uh, of course. Hi Kevsky, hope you're doing well. Uh, Kevsky, if you don't know, is just uh, completing his type rating. Uh, on the 737, oh no, he's, he's doing his line training, he's actually a line 737 pilot, there you go. So you can ask him all the questions today. <laughs> hope you're doing well, buddy, hope your training's going on well as well. Hey Ross, I'm stuck in Munich, oh! Hope you, you get away soon, buddy. Andy, uh, it's efficient now, just wait until the British get in control. <laughs> hey, British controllers ain't bad. Uh, Mavericks, yeah, Packer Boeing House livery is actually quite sexy, pretty good looking, pretty good looking. That was made by Jordan, one of the members. Quiet. Do you want to have a good day? Thank you. We're there 4711 Monitor Unicorn, goodbye. Okay, I'm clear again. Alpaca 4... Alpaca 4711, my bad. Alpaca 4711 Monitor Unicorn, you have good afternoon. Alpaca 4... Alpaca 4711, my bad. Alpaca 4711 Monitor Unicorn, you have good afternoon. <laughs> you, if you were, if I knew you very well personally, I'd be throwing profanity your way. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, let's have the ortho downloaded for this sector, there's a little bit of it. Alpaca 6 Golf Fox, request flight level 320 for the cruise. Ice and conditions geared to the ice coming on. What was going to say, yes, I'm hoping to stream again on Tuesday. Any builds have sent me over their John F. Kennedy scenery. Now, it was only last stream I flew into John F. Kennedy, but I might have to do it again because uh, they give me a copy to give away as well, which is quite generous. Of them. Um, so I might take. Something different than the 73. I might, I might just keep it simple. The PMDG and the K. Packer 40 Golf Fox Trot, Channel Heavy 340. Packer 40 Golf Fox Trot. 4711, proceed direct to Vida. 340 set. Might keep it simple, but I could fly the MD80 or the 146. The 146 isn't very good for JFK. I don't know if there's any events on Tuesday. I'll make it a slightly later stream. Take the Blairy on. <laughs> 
I'm on slowly in most of the flight space, but I'm not sure. I'm like, I'm yearning for the Felix 74 again. I see someone's made a cargo variant. Edo, I didn't even say MD-80. I, I might get this, I, I presume there's a sound pack for it now. Um, FT Sim sound pack. This is the stock uh, Leonardo MD-80 sounds weren't that great. Oh, Mavericks, yeah, you were also uh, flying at the bunker. Good tag, G face, have you doing well? Keep the GNTI on, I'm about to go straight back into again. Yeah, with the all phone looks great. Cars have improved again, still. Into the rain. Antonov 225, love it. Explain needs to do something about this rain at high altitudes. Rain doesn't really fall at, at these sort of colder temperatures. I mean, to be fair, it's. Temperature. Yeah, it's, it's, it's minus 30 now, so they need to sort of disable this precipitation, say above 20,000 feet. So don't get precipitation this high, it just forms. Master Christian overheats. Master Christian fuel. This isn't meant to be a failure streak. What happened there? Yeah, two engine overheats. Uh, that's nasty. Fucking hell. Is that a bit of noise on here? No, because it's, it's disabled. Well, that's interesting. Engine overheat, disconnect order from, reduce thrust, keep reducing until the engine overheat light stays, extinguishes, and if it stays illuminated with idle, you do the engine fire drill. Remember I think that was just a little weird bug. Nothing to see, continue. It's always a fun game of that, so trying to work out who the pilots are just based off their radio voice. You'll probably hear mine. Just a lot of people recognise mine now. Hello, Anthony. Morning, Skipper. Uh, bombed. I'm not sure. Uh, My better half is running the Boston Marathon tomorrow. Excellent. We are unable for the Atlantic to an Oscar. Well, best of luck uh, to her. And uh, I, I guess you're going to go and give us some support to the finish line. And you get that occasionally in the mod when the centre tank empty is always sold by switching to the centre tank. Uh, well, it was the same time that happened. So obviously something is causing both the engines to spike up the EGTs when, when the centre tank gets low. I'd never seen it before. So we've been one hour into the stream and many members of the group flights are still on the ground <laughs> waiting to take off at that sort of time. Mavericks, is the end bug because you left edge of the on past minus 40? I have absolutely no idea. It sounds like it could be related to the centre bugs, but it's not even that temperature yet, it's minus 38 anyway. Certainly not related to that. See that? That looks quite good. That looks like sort of front lights, I'm seeing. As a two with the uniform, proceed direct to Marpox and monitor unicorn, one to two ages. Marpox and over to unicorn, look at the two which can be. That I'm not so sure about. I'll pack a six door, punch up, monitor unicorn, good afternoon. Unicorn, good afternoon, I'll pack a six door. So, sorry, unicorn for a short while then. Sector, but London's going to be extremely busy. I'm taking an hour's worth of extra fuel. Have a little look at flight radar. Not flight radar. So I can very much see the line leaving Munich. It's 
Look how busy it is on the network. But there's very much a defined line leaving Munich and Oslo. Where's you guys leaving Hamburg as well? Yes. I see you all. Heathrow has 80 arrivals. A lot of speedbirds. And a lot of alpacas. An awful lot of alpacas. In fact, over half the arrivals inbound uh, are alpacas. That's crazy. That's crazy. Reader, Epoch 145 passing flight level 127 for flight level 190. To be fair, Manchester's got a lot as well. Uh, if we got into Manchester, it would have been Cardiff. They've got 118. But that ain't bad for a, a sort of a private group flight to be only sort of like 20, 30 less than a, a published public VATSIM event. That's not bad going. Uh, but if I be while I'm sitting here, my Airbus. Uh, stand by. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah we can do three eights. That's no problem. I'll pack a four zero Golf Fox Strike Able Flight Level 380. Thank you. I have another aircraft coming up. Same destination at 360. Climb level 350 for the moment, please. Climb level 350. No problem. I'll back 40. Go for 350. Set. And we've already updated the FMC and overhead panel 38. Climb 41 November. Climb level 340. Climb 340. Yeah, you're waiting for the camera. No messages. Kevsky says, "What's all this? Did I miss something?" No, turn on the APU before the APU car is connected to the aft lavatory. <laughs> Push. <laughs> well, hello, folks. Happy Bog Hope you're doing well, buddy. Where's the trade day with the 739? It's called your knees. Exactly, BS. And you can use the tech lock. Uh, Gabriel, just departed from Hamburg. Superb. And thanks for sharing on your Instagram story about the uh, group flight and uh, promoting the channel. Appreciate that. <laughs> we're not here just to take part, we're here to take over Connor, Alpaca, McGregor. RPS, oh, you're flowing bad today. Uh, Bank Angle 10, I'm too busy reading you, you're not taking a big. Uh, there you go. I think he might stay on Packer. Five level 380, I'll pack a 40 Golf Fox Strong. So 380 is set. An MCP here, so set three times. Make sure we're monitoring 115. Monitor Unicom KLM 461 November. Just use the Nexus Lab. Pleasure, I hope to land in one piece. Oh god. <laughs> we all are now flat on the runway. Yeah, those clouds, excellent. I think that would explain. They, they ain't great. You can just do a little bit more uh, depth, I think, or, or a little, tiny bit blurry, but actually, you know what? From a distance, it's not that bad. Here in Unicom land for now, and try not to have anything in the background when with ATC I miss calls. Yeah, it is uh, easy to get distracted. I found when I'm s streaming, s when I'm chatting to you guys on frequency, someone calls me, I, d I can miss it. Over time, you get used to your call sign, so so when I hear either Alpaca or my operator, I do sort of hesitate for a second, just listen. So sort of is your initial pickup, so to listen out for your call sign, and then when you hear something else, you can then carry on. As you were. One 
wonderful. Yeah, no, it's right zero. Back at full zero, go full strong. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can probably see we're leveling off. Because you know, I think three four is an issue, but I think the aircraft briefly leveled off there. I mean, this happens a lot with wind changes or temperature changes. Your back number will change, and um, the aircraft will pitch in response to that. The max, if you're if you're operating close to your optimum cruise level and you're heavy, it, it, its climb performance is very poor in comparison to the NG, so it can take you know, a minute or two to climb a thousand feet. Andy, they're getting better with dense clouds and rain at flight level 380 the other day. It's put me off XP 12 now. Yeah, the, the rain above 20... They just need to have it so rain is disabled above, sort of, let's say, 20,000 feet. Uh, that, would, that would improve the immersion a lot more. But yeah, pretty much every cloud you see precipitation regardless of altitude or, or outside temperature. Uh, Unicom and fix off the ATC on pack 40 Golf uh, Fox Trot. Uh, bye. Danker, that was the word I was looking for. Over to you to come for now. Jonathan, make sure Titch and I were both wearing our Packer Airlines t-shirts on the flight yesterday. Nobody even battled an eyelid. That's <laughs> so cool if you did wear them though. <laughs> it's a very niche yeah, flight simulation. If I went off flying in Japan, you would see, you'd be so busy filtering all those gel call signs. I absolutely don't know, see that. Averings, I've heard the FPS at any builds GFK is pretty rough unless you have frame gen. What's frame generation? I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be quite intensive, isn't it? It's a busy airport, New York, around the corner as well. Uh, listen, been flying on that sim with weekly changing call signs makes that much more interesting. Luffa, what are you, Ropaka? <laughs> Jonathan, mind you, I did wear a flying super hoodie in Tesco once and somebody asked if I was a pilot. <laughs> awesome. Maybe it was the I oh, yeah, real pilot once. I was trying to think of that word, Brent. Oh, what well, well done, Jonathan. Two tons landed safely even with X pilot kicking me off multiple times on approach and landing. Oops, London Air and X Plane 12 on my PC are not getting along right now. Yeah, mine was dropping to 35 ish, 30 uh, on that approach earlier. But, but I've had better FPS recently in the sim. No, it's never been bad in X Plane 12 on this rig, but uh, it's, it's improved for me. Uh, Brendan, I've started. It's starting the NG on the max, the same process as the NG. I've heard that it takes up to six minutes to start both on the max. It does take up to six minutes. The process is exactly the same. You move the start switch to continuous, 25% end to add fuel. But the leap, CFM leap engines are considerably larger. And it has a procedure called BRM, or Bode uh, Rotor Motoring. So there's, there's a shaft in the engine, I think it's the N1, N2, or one of the shafts. It sounds alarming, but it's completely normal. It's designed to do it. It, it bends over time because of, the, I guess, the size of it. So prior to starting the engine, the shaft needs to be, I say, debended. It needs to be uh, made straight. So what you do when you start the engine, the engine accelerates to to 20% stops, and then it motors there, uh, and it can motor up to a maximum of three minutes. I've never seen it take any longer than two minutes. Uh, and, and it holds at about 20% and then once BRM is complete, you get this little motoring display on N2. Once BRM is complete, the motoring disappears and then accelerate from 20 to 25% and you can then insert fuel. And then that process, uh, there's a lot of additional uh, tests going on in the LEAP compared to the um, the, uh, the, uh, CF, uh, the CFM uh, 56. So that the, the acceleration from 25% to stabilised M1, which is also... Uh, uh, it's still 20% but the N2 is higher as the EGC takes about twice as long as well. So yeah, the engine start procedure is it's over double of what it is for the, the NG. 
Yeah, that's it. So the bowing is because of thermal buildup when it stops spinning, but it's still hot. Yeah, and the the the, the, the sh is it one of the shafts uh, bends over time. Let's look it up. I remember reading about it. It's got it's called BR amp process bowed rotor uh, bowed rotor motoring. I think the leaps in the Airbus are exactly the same, aren't they? It causes the compressor to bend. There we go. Yeah, every start. When the engine's colder, it, do it doesn't take so long. It takes about a minute. Work. But if you're doing multiple seconds after a turnaround, um, yeah, it can take a long time. Right, 3 0. El Navinav. Let's see the weather radar on. Which is not very accurate anyway in the sim at the moment. 290 miles till top descent of 53. So uh, just under 40 minutes till top descent. We'll do a fuel check at uh, O Missy coming up. Get rid of the mention charts. Leave for a selective for later. So, Obisi, uh, we're going to be there in a minute, so we should be there after 28 minutes, we're going to be there after 27. Uh, we should have 4.3, so we did 2.6 extra. 6.3, 6.7 tonnes on board. We've got about 6.9, so that's looking good. We should have burned 2.2 tonnes. 2.1 tonnes. There we go. Fuel time check complete. Looking good. Karen, if you had issues with HCR, that's what the problem was. I guess you could say you just tried to get things straightened out. Oh, uh, wait for it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got my... Uh, but ATC are well aware that the uh, longest start-up time required for the max, as are the ground crew. Oh, no, Edward just had to explain crash today. Uh, Stop, Bubba. Explain 12 has been very twitchy for me lately. lately. Well, don't worry, Edward. If you take a part of the group flight, at least attempted to, you still take, you're still entered into the giveaway. Just got to log on to that sim. Touch wood, I've got any issues in the sim recently. I did a test sector, I've not made any changes since then. All is okay. There's our flyby. We've got a no, who's the, what airlines that? I don't know, but they're going a different way, I think. We've got an Alpaca 5 Tango Bravo ahead of us, and Alpaca 145 behind us. Fly Warner, so far so good. Departing just behind you, excellent. Mason flying in the air after sorting out the issues with my reverse thrust. Oh dear. My ITA is 1618, most likely will be longer than that. So 1618 for you. At the same time as me. 16, look at that! Your ETA, Mason Island, will be approaching around the same time if... Well, well, well coming in back. Where, where did you depart from? Have to remind me. Maverick, Sam, did you answer the question that someone asked on the ground that you needed to check the handbook for? Ah, yes! Um, your damper. Your damper is in the MEL. Let's have a look. I should think you can dispatch. There'll probably be some constraints. Let's have a look. I do, w I do wish to share this with you, but I'm, I'm not in a position that's plastered with operator labels, but I will look it up for you and explain what I see. Your damper. Not required for dispatch. One installed to required. Interval C, so it needs to be fixed within 10 days. May be an operative, provided your damper switch remains off. Dispatch on the MEL will be entered. So the flight plan. Operations, so I ha you can dispatch without your damper, but you must avoid areas of moderate and severe turbulence, reduce airspeed 
and or descend to a lower altitude if turbulence is encountered and passenger comfort is affected. Do not exceed flap 30. Interesting. So we can't use flap 40. We must use flap 30. And uh, in the MEL, OPT selects the MEL entry number. So you can dispatch. Can't fly in turbulence. Do not exceed flap 30. Because your damper dampens out turbulence. But can you dispatch without your damper? Yes, you can. Pete, when I flew on a 2 Max, we did a single engine taxi and motored the secondary. It's actually very interesting. Yeah, some airlines do taxi out single engine, start the second engine on the taxi out. Makes sense, actually. Uh, and, and single engine taxi on the on the max is considerably easier as well because there's a lot more residual thrust at idle compared to the NG. Not not so easy in the uh, NG. Uh, NG. So uh, yeah, max. You know, single engine taxi makes sense in the uh, max. It also reduce the uh, time sitting around. Plainly, it probably takes quite some time to wind up the rubber bands in the uh, loop motors. <laughs> Unbelievable. Would be burning only two tons. Three or four hundred kilos an hour less than the cruise. It carries more passengers as well. Look at that. Still, still, still getting some weird funky clouds. We've got the pyramids off there on our left hand side. Oh, that's quite good. Can't see any contrails of any. Oh, look, there you go. Look at all the contrails of their aircraft on the back. Look at all the alpacas. Five, six white lemur. Six gold foxtrot. Who's that there? Nine five kilo hotel. Five tango bravo. And all your contrails as well. Who's that over there? Probably someone else. Yeah, Lufthansa. Two Charlie kilo. Loads of traffic around. Who's that over there going in there roughly the same direction? KLM. Oh, he's going to be going back to Amsterdam. Cool, isn't it? Uh, Heathrow director, an absolute pro, I can believe it. Scottish Ask ETA, he's 52, this one's at 56. Do you do single engine taxi out, we operate it? No, we don't, Mavericks. Taxi in, after landing, yes, after three minutes. Below uh, 63 tons, we do shut an engine down. Single engine taxi. Certain airports, not many, but certain ones we can't do it due to usually slope on the apron. Hopefully, you understand. Uh, and over time you get a bit of like localised knowledge, for example Alicante uh, there's a taxi you taxi on, typically you land on runway 10 and if you go on Delta, Delta's really steep, it's quite a steep incline so if you shut an engine down the NG early uh, you won't get up Delta and I'm not actually talking from experience but however I will have, hold my hand up, I have had to restart an engine once uh, because we ran out of puff and that was an oif and it genuinely wasn't my fault, it was during the command upgrade line training, the captains were, line training captains really trying to encourage single engine taxi because it's more efficient, fuel friendly, and he told me to do it, and I was like, oh, you know, a bit heavy, and he said, oh, you know, you're below 60, you're you fine, if you did, and then we had to stop because there was no marshaller, um, we can only pull on stand if there's a marshaller unless we have prior approval, so we had to wait five minutes, the marshaller arrived and I just couldn't get moving, it went to 40% and one, the aircraft just did not budge. Uh, so yeah, the start edge. Yes, kudos here for a director, tolerating my multi disconnects and uh, one minute hiatus whilst reducing all my X Blade 12 graphics settings. <laughs> we need to get you a stronger PC, two tons. We need to organise another sim race as well. I enjoyed that race. Well, I enjoyed this time trial we've been doing as well. I might uh, fire up the sim later and uh, have another go because I think we're going to do another track and uh, layout soon. Mavericks, do you do single engine taxi? No, I answered that one. Is there a reason for it? 
no taxi out. Did I answer that? I can't. If I did, did I just say? Like if I didn't, no. Uh, maybe I just in my head. Um, we we don't. Why I don't exactly know because a lot of airlines do. I think it's just um, the risk of not making mistakes. Uh, or anything like that. Of course, I'm going to try and take off at one there, but. But uh, my operator very much views taxiing as a critical phase of flight. We'll have charts open, no distractions, etc., uh, etc. Et so I don't think uh, they want to start in the other engine. So it, 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 yeah, I'd see it as a distraction, especially at unfamiliar airports. Yeah, but he said, no, to be fair, it wasn't. If you, you're single engine in the NG, you've got to be confident you're not going to stop, unless you're very light. If you stop, it's very difficult. You've got to get that inertia to get going again, and, and you need right up to 40% M1. You can't set more than that. Um, so, so yeah, you, you've got to be confident you're not going to stop unless you're super light. If you're super light, yeah, you can usually get moving again. But anything over 60 tons, the slightest upslope, you won't get it moving again with one engine. Oh, you have an i9 and an R TX28? It's not a low end PC. Oh, right. Yeah. My settings are pretty high in x I mean, I, I don't know if there's a big jump to 3080, but I've only got an i7. Jonathan, flow control now for mid London Scottish preferred departures above 280. Must refile at 270 or below and four minute minimum departure intervals at Heathrow. Is that, a, is that today or just uh, a general? as per real life limitation. That right now. Yeah, yeah Manchester's gonna be well it is round over hundred or hundred arrivals. Oh I've just looked at the Vats and map. Look at all the aircraft going into Manchester. Loads. Ryanairs of Scandinavians, easy jets. They're all coming in from the east. I guess a number of the aircraft going from Heathrow as well. Heathrow looks busy. No alpacas there yet. There's a Virgin on short front. They're landing on 27 left. I thought they. Uh, do they, they switch over, don't they? Is it 27 left they're landing on now? See alpaca 9 alpha kilo. Shuttle. And 2 Gillette Foxtrot on the approach. Can't go past forty percent M1 more taxing, that is correct. Don't need any more than that though, Mavericks will be accelerating quite quickly. It's usually thirty to thirty-five percent. So Edinburgh Heathrow doesn't normally have a level cap. Uh, interesting. Now I don't think they're holding yet Heathrow, uh, Kieran. Just only started arriving in there now. Two times. I think it's X Europe in relation to XP world objects in the London area and my world object density slider which is currently on high, getting 17 FPS, ouch. Mount 51, Copenhagen control is incredibly relaxed, so they're pretty uh, chilled out in the Scandinavians and the Danes in particular. Two tons. I'd be glad you don't have an AMD card, or you could be dealing with 2025 FPS by default with no extra add-ons and medium settings. Oh dear. Taking the MD80 then, I'd like to fly the MD80 again in, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We do that on Tuesday. I make it probably a slightly later stream, maybe at 8 o'clock start. Um, then Wednesday I'm busy. Thursday's my last day off, so maybe something again on Thursday. Back to work Friday, and it is a 
busy end of April, beginning of May. It is, yes, a lot of hours. I think I've got 101 hours <laughs> the next month. Uh, or something like that. But I'm going to Greece next week. I've got some very long four sector days. Looking forward to it, actually. On the max, on the NG, bit of a mixture. Yeah, maybe Brendan. You know, I've still got the city skylines uh, from the Cross the Pond two weeks ago. I've saved that city. I might play a bit later. If anyone's up for anything later as well, let me know. Because I've, I've got not much planned this evening. That's relaxing evening. My, my partner's back to work tomorrow. Uh, Scottish ETA now 1556 due to traffic, getting busy near the channel. Whoa. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jonathan. Yeah, it's uh, uh, 14 hours each way. Yeah, yeah long duty. Pete, drop me a DM. Pete, drop me a DM. Where are you going? Osaka to uh, Korea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. <laughs> I, remember, I think you mentioned it too. Anyway, Pete. to know for about flying back to Fort Worth but uh, I think I'll do that another day yeah but, I mean how long does that take you to get to Heathrow 10 11 hours brilliant Brandon yes city skyline city skyscapes well that's doesn't unfortunately compatible with uh, x plane 12 did have that add on that x plane 11 Great progress. I go down to Delta Lima. I was forgetting which airport. It's Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf just off here to the right side. But that's us. Uh, that's us almost halfway. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 90 minutes on top of that westbound. Yeah. Got that across the pond stream was. Phew. Yeah, how long was that flight? Eight and a half hours to JFK from Madrid? Yeah, I think that was the, either the longest or second longest stream we've ever done. We did two weeks ago. Well, yeah, this time last week I was on my way to Tenerife. I, was, I wanted to take my drone, but last second I changed my mind because I was worried that security would uh, take it away from me. I bought a, a DJI Mini. Uh, a mini pro uh, last month um, and I, it would have been awesome because we stayed in uh, Los uh, Gigant is it Gigantos I couldn't pronounce it correctly and the cliffs were spectacular it would have been so cool to have flown the uh, drone along those uh, cliffs but yeah my my uh, girlfriend suggested um Anyone, anyone ever been to Dubrovnik here? So I've never been to um, Dubrovnik before. I think that's quite nice in the summer. But I don't, I've never visited um, Croatia. Actually, we don't. You know, we have done Dubrovnik on stream. Brendan! <laughs> cheeky, cheeky kid. Unbelievable. Ashley at the gate, let me throw first alpaca after two tons. Excellent work, excellent work. Yes, don't forget if you have taken part in the group flights, I'll be doing three giveaways after landing in Heathrow. I'll, I'll jumble all of you together uh, instead of doing one for each group. Um, usual prizes, $50 explain gift card, uh, any add-on, any flight some add-on you want. If it's a bit more than £50, don't worry, we'll sort you out. And uh, if you're from the UK, I can also send out an Amazon gift card. Now, 
I've sort of looked into different giveaway options. It's one of the problems with with giveaways are um, not many places do vouchers, and vouchers are the best way because all I need to do a voucher is an email address. Otherwise, I, I have to send them basically the, the the funds via PayPal, which isn't an issue. But ultimately, you know, I want to try and support the, the developer as well. So, if anyone can think of any good giveaway places or see where have vouchers, so I think any builds started vouchers now. Just flight do vouchers, which is good. Um, flight Beam Studios, another one. So I'm always looking for the ideas that I, I start. I went on Amazon. I thought well, Amazon's great because it's a bit more generic. But then I I worked out if you're at a lot of gift cards, like Steam gift cards. I bought those Steam gift cards the other week, and then after buying them for the giveaway for Steam gift cards for you guys, I was like, oh crap! You know, I can only give these to you from the UK now. Uh, of the three winners, two of them were fortunately from the UK. One of them was from the US. So basically, I just kept that gift card and, and sent the cost via PayPal. But but um, I, I actually sent a message to Steam to ask, you know, I, I have a YouTube channel, I'd like to do some Steam gift card giveaways, and they just simply said, yeah, sorry, due to scam and fraudulent reasons. And it's the same with most gift cards. If I buy any gift card from the UK, be it online or from a, sh a shop, it's only transferable in the country of origin, so I can only send it to another UK user. Ah, Mavericks, you're going to creation in September, excellent. going to Zagreb and Ryan Doha. Very cool. From Australia. Awesome. Sim Market does vouchers too. Okay, that's good. So yeah, you know, w there's a bit of flexibility with the giveaways now. So yeah, I, I, I like to go do every group flight will have at least two giveaways. I'm doing an extra one because usually in a month I like to do, obviously it's because I haven't streamed for two weeks. Um, but yeah, we did a lot of giveaways during that stream. Uh, I was like, oh, I'll chuck in another one this month. Also gets more people taking part in the group flights. Well, I hope, I hope you do. Yeah, overhead uh, Tornu, right turn to Blader. Yeah, I think we'll take the MD80 into JFK on Tuesday, because then Xini uh, builds very kindly set that over for free. Um, and uh, where should we depart from? Probably an hour and a half. This this is a sort of, this this flight type is the perfect flight type really for a stream. Hour and a half, two hours. I'll I'll have to spend tomorrow learning the MD80 again. But yeah, let me have a look at the little flight and sim boot map. I can't believe how many people have viewed this. Flight Deck Sim Brutes, about 150,000 people have viewed this map now. I just, I remember making it quite early on, about well, over two years ago now. And I just thought, oh, this would be quite a cool way of, because people ask me, oh, have you, where have you streamed? And I thought, I'll make this, and it literally takes me about two minutes after every stream to update this. So here you go, here's my route map. I mean, it is a bit full there, but look, my last stream here uh, to. Where is it from Madrid? Look to JFK. And I, all I do is do that, and I link the stream. Actually, no, look, I forgot to post a link there. Every other single one, you can search it. So if I type in, uh, for example, look, London Heathrow, where we're going today, look how many times I've streamed in and out of London Heathrow. So I've done from Amsterdam. I can't even remember half of these. London Heathrow, Alicante, Edinburgh, Leeds, London Heathrow. No, I can't even remember this stream. Ages ago. But yeah, we we can go to New York. Uh, any uh, any DTW is that Detroit? We've definitely been from there. I did. I did. Uh, yeah, I think I did a stream with their new scenery. There we go. Oh, isn't that actually the right one? It's a bit short though, isn't it? Uh, that, that could work. Detroit to New York. Okay, good suggestion, good suggestion. Detroit any, it's right distance. And any will like that, because it's both of their sceneries. <laughs> Some of us may have pulled up that map a hundred times at this point, unless it only logs unique visitors. Now, I think it's every, so if I refresh it at 924, it'll go to 925. There you go, it, it, every time someone views it, it goes up by one. So it, it is every time someone's viewed the page. There's still quite a lot. Last time was nine days ago. 
Oh yes, it was just yeah. I, I was a bit late posting that. I didn't do it straight. I didn't actually do that straight after the um, uh, the flight there. But you can see, like for example, Africa. Look at that. It just doesn't get any love. Maybe it's just because there's not sort of many Greek flights. There. I've done some in India, some in the Middle East, but not much. None up here. None in Mongolia, Russia. Some in some in East Asia. Actually, the United States has had quite a few streams now. Look. Caribbean. South America, a few. Yeah, look. I've only flown into Cape Town once. In fact, I don't think I've. I've never actually flown into. Oh, no, I've, done, I've done it once. Here, testing you. If anyone, anyone's got any flight deck to sim, uh, good memories. What aircraft did we take from uh, Port Elizabeth? Yeah, it's been renamed Port Elizabeth to Cape Town. Top marks, if you if you can remember that. That Madagascar. I was actually thinking quite well, a good Concorde flight could be from Perth to go along the Indian Ocean. What's the distance here from Madagascar? Uh, 6,800. That's going to be close to the max range because I think this is the max range here. 6, 8. What's that? Did Barbados to Heathrow. <laughs> 6,700. That's max range for Concord. Uh, Greg's got the group flight was to it was the other one here this was in the DC-6 when the DC-6 was released with Elizabeth to Cape Town I remember yeah we could do a flight from Madagascar it's right on the maximum range though for Concord I mean I'd be on fumes coming into Perth but we could do that across the Indian Ocean a Concord flight maybe I could do the Maldives Maldives to Perth in Concord. Yeah, that would, that would be quite a good flight. Cool. Hundred miles top of descent. That's perfect timing to start setting up for the approach. So we'll hand control over to Jim. Two fifty below one hundred. More gas winds here. Two one zero. 100 300 is 357 and 24 100 is 354 18 uh, QNH in Heathrow 27 left, thanks for the heads up on that one. Uh, QNH 31026. We're expecting 27 left now, so our arrivals are less 27 left. Still will be the Lamp 1 transition on the Logan 2 Hotel. Execute. So arrival, Logan 2 Hotel, well, an initial approach from Lambourne, <coughs> excuse me, so something like this is the transition which should be loaded into the FMC, minus 27 left, and the airport charts. Seven left. We plan to make November six, and then the parking stands. Perfect. Where are we parking? Hopefully November six. I can go in via golf and in here. <laughs> Simple. So we've got the charts. Let's uh, firstly have a look at the star. So Logan Two Hotel. Uh, Logan 2 hotels in the FMC. Uh, starting at Logan at flight level 250, Sabre 160, uh, Brasso, Wessel Max 250, Lambourne 220 at flight level 70, Lambourne 220 at flight level 70. So that's all coded in correctly. Happy with that. Transition level B of ITC will confirm that with the ATIS. We've checked the restrictions, they're all coded to. And then from Lambourne, do not proceed beyond the VOR without ATC clearance. So if you haven't spoken to ATC, you have to enter the hold at Lambourne. Hopefully, we'll get vectors. If not, there is a transition 
Uh, goes outbound from the Lambon VOR for 11 miles, <coughs> tracking 273. Sorry, 262. Why is that saying Lambon? Yeah, Lambon 262. To 11 miles. Why is it saying 005? I have no idea, guys, why that's saying 5 degrees. 262. So it's got 263, then it should be 273 to Lambo. They're saying 005. That's a bit weird. It's, it's correctly, it looks good on the ND, but it's saying 5 degrees. Weird, not sure why it's saying that, but it says 70 level. Minimum holding level, which it is. And I'm going to go 127 onto the Oscar point, which is 20 miles. Oscar 15. Oh yeah, 15, sorry for moment. Probably remember, maybe it's not. 6,000 feet, Sierra Point then, 180 knots or below, 19 miles from Prime November, November, and then a turn onto the ILS, 3,500 then 3,000, I'll make this 3,000 feet or below. So it, it looks pictorially correct, the tracks are slightly wrong on that waypoint. And we're going all the way over to 27 left now. There we are, so Cedifix 27 left. Oh, ATC just called me, thank you, I missed that. Uh, oof, yeah, crap, they called me five minutes ago. I missed that. Charlie, I can give you heading 190, I'll make it heading 170 now. What's the left? 170, Alpaca 6, Golf Fox. Alpaca 5, Bingo, bravo. Please remember to get Yeah, he sent me a ding, but I missed it. Uh, radar, hello, Alpaca. 4-0. Golf Foxtrot maintaining flight level 380 to Abned. We stepped on it. Engine 539, please remember to get your next go lock, maintain mark decimal 75. One navigation direct go lock, maintain 75, Scandinavian 539. Last Street, hello, it's Southpack 40, Golf Foxtrot, flight level 380 Abned. Alpaca. Heading 350 degrees, Mac Decimal 78, Alpaca 40 Golf Fox Drop. What's a heading and a half? Alpaca 40 Golf Fox Drop, Mac Decimal 75. Reduces 75, Alpaca 40 Golf Fox Drop. Well, that's a bit excessive. Well, that's a delayed vector. 350. Where are we going? Uh, anyway, yeah. Getting on to the uh, islands. 1095 is the frequency. Put London VOR on standby. 36. Force is a 269. Uh, minimum is 277. Oh, okay, so either vectors or the transition as we saw onto the ILS platforms. Uh, 2500. 2500. Uh, 3 degrees ILS after that point. Uh, that's a Toga. Good ground, fly 15 second, first positive climb, gear up 40 feet LNAV. Climb straight ahead when passing 1,000 feet, whichever is later or on zero miles. Uh, climb a left turn track, wall force up to 2,000, when passing 6 miles without delay to 3,000. So initially 2,000, and then up to 3,000. That is it. 27 left, plan to vacate November 6. It's going to be around 2700, 2800 meters. Oops. <laughs> 
think he's come back onto the network on that aeroplane. Oops. Oh dear. Uh, where's the landing calculator? I always forget this thing. There it is. So he's row 27 left drive. Temperature is 9. Try flat 30. Fuel going to burn 700 kilos. That was quite heavy. 63.7. So it's about 2,700 meters. Flat 30 order break 3. Should be okay with order break 2. Is that for me? No. Hopefully we'll this track for longer. But yeah, that's for order break 2, November 6. Go from there. Yes, it's an interesting heading. <laughs> That's why we take the extra fuel. I'll give them another three minutes and I'll ask them how long are they heading. <laughs> Defence checklist. Pressurisation. Uh, 100 sets. Set anti ice. Off. Approach briefing and fuel. Uh, left heading 220, I'll pack a 40 golf fox truck. Wee! This cost IAS and alt bugs. <laughs> We're going back Check, to south. That's it. Descent checklist complete. Perfect. So I have to take off checklists. You see, I never do. The reason is that my operator is only done uh, by pilot monitoring. Pilot flying doesn't respond to anything apart from the last check. Make sure standard set. So we're going to sort of be heading back towards Abnet. It's already started. It's already started the carnage. We're 38 miles from top of descent still. I will go direct to uh, Abnet for now. But maximum 10 degrees above 30,000 feet. LNAV for the magenta line might give you a steeper turn, but we have to respect 10 degrees of heading select. Jonathan Wiltshire, does the PM still enunciate the checks being done for the voice recorders benefit or just do them silently? So it's done in a very particular way at my operator. Let's bring up the checklist, which is it's identical to what's on here. Um, so after takeoff, if I was to bring it up, I'm not going to obviously read it. You can see it matches this. So how this works at my operator, um, it sort of it challenges himself. So after takeoff, check. Yeah, we're heading 220 degrees, just uh, we're very high, so this is my maximum bank angle, but continuing turn to 190, I'll pack a 40 Golf Foxtrot. 40 Golf Foxtrot, thank you, and you can actually use your modification there, Hypnos. Drake, Hypnos, I'll pack a 40 Golf Foxtrot, thank you. Perfect. Now, uh, that is the way it is up here with the heading, uh, but because I'll go like this, and now LNAV, LNAV will give me a steeper turn. It's got a maximum bank angle protection built into it, um, but that's just the way it is in the 7.3. Uh, but uh, let's now match the heading. There you go. So see, look, it's banked up to not, not more than sort of, sort of, what we've got there about, it's got to about, yeah, only got up to 23, 24 there or something, so. Um, what on earth are we talking about? I can't even remember what we were talking about now. What we remind me? <laughs> I have to play the stream back. What were we talking about? Someone asked me a question. Yeah, sorry, they have to take off checklist. So, yeah, uh, Jonathan Woodship. 
This is done by Pilot Monitoring in a very unique way on my operator. So, firstly, when he completes the after takeoff check, this so imagine Jim's PM. He puts the gear off silently, order brake to off, start switches off, and then he'll he'll say out aloud, sort of I guess for this benefit for the voice recorder, and also so PF can hear, he'll say air conditioning and pressurization, and we do something called the reverse L. So the air conditioning and pressurization is sort of this L shape here. See where I'm outlining with the mouse? Uh, this is the whole air conditioning and pressurization. And what he will do, he'll say out the diff pressure out aloud. So he'll say air conditioning and pressurization, the diff pressure should be around 2 to, two to 3 psi after takeoff. So he'll read out the psi aloud and then check the entire configuration. So the pressurization mode selector, flight land out, the switches, the trim air, temperature. And then he, when he's done all that, he'll say set. set. This is done silently, that's done silently, that's done silently, that's done silently. And altimeters is a challenge, he'll actually ask pilot fly altimeters and then he verifies standard set. So that's how it's done. Um, I, I, it's quite hard to explain, but the wild protocol has it in that set way. It's quite a thorough way of checking everything before you, you get above 10,000 feet. So he did give us 7.5, I can either leave the speed window open, if I close it it'll accelerate back to 7.8, or I can just simply update it here, it doesn't matter. 7.5, you can leave the speed window open, lots of different ways. These two are very close. So you see that was our little wiggle. We're going to be sort of sequencing in here. We've got Ryanair traffic. I doubt he's going to hit through. So 145 and 7 uniform Papa. Look how busy this is. Another Jeep looks like I'll be last to hit through. Uh oh. Bring up the rear, nothing with that. Uh, 18475, I'll pack a 40 golf Fox with the speed. Bye. So I've oh my god, how many frequencies? So many. It's 2-4 London. Speed reading to 4. Got a hold up Norman. Entering hold up Norman. Okay, 5 Tango Bravo into the hold up Norman, no ATC speed restriction. Uh oh. 3 Tango Bravo, descent now. Holding at Logan! <laughs> oh my. It's 2-4, descent flight level 3-4-0. Holding at Logan! Oh, that's false, mate! <laughs> Seven two Hotel Bravo London Control descent flight level three one zero and hold at Logan. That's three aircraft entry. No, I don't need this right now. Please descend flight level three one zero and hold at Logan. Flight level three one zero hold at Logan. I'm going to control Echo One Lima Mike and hold at Logan. Right, I've got. I'm not looking at chat. Echo One Lima Mike contact London one one nine seven seven five. So I'm going to tell him to anticipate him. Did we actually get something up there? Should have defined uh, from Hamburg. I should have done. Got to try to list it out. John Wings 18 Golf contacting you on flight level 210, descending to 2500 feet. John Wings 18 Golf contact London 121 decimal 225. I'm 
had a good evening, Alpaca, 40 Golf Foxtrot, flight level 380, Ibnos, decimal 75, expecting hold Logan. Okay. Alpaca 95 Kilo Hotel London, descent flight level 370. I think you said Rogers there. Alpaca 95 Kilo Hotel. Tango Bravo, descent flight level 350. Listen out, guys. I'm guilty of it as well. Got it, got it, got it. What well a. Control, Paco 145, level 380, Mach 0.77 assigned. Paco 145, London, Roger. Ryanair 23, sorry, Ryanair 3235, London, turn right at 290 degrees. I checked in, but I don't know if he said Roger at the end of it. Paco 72, Bravo, Roger. You should say Alpaca 40, Golf Foxtrot, at least. I'm not obviously, I can't, this is not America guys, you cannot descend until you've been cleared, you cannot descend, just got to ignore, go past top descent, over the speed window here, so I've got to do 75 because that's my assigned speed, at the end of the day if we're holding it doesn't, uh, he did Roger, I know, yeah. Like a 4711, descend flight level 250. Descend flight level 250, Alpaca 471. Scandinavian 562, with you and 38 feet direct to Lembo. Scandinavian 562, let me control that. Let me control right now, tonight, I'm checking the G, heading 5 days, 7 feet, and that's it. So busy. Five uniform Michael control, Roger. Outback of 4-0, Golf Foxtrot request descent. Uh, all stations come up as descent, just stand by, I'm doing it one by one. Back uh, 8-1, Golf descent, flight level 1, uh, descent flight level 100. Oh, Steve, sorry Number buddy, 100, sorry to hear that. Carry on, Golf correction, heading, sorry, flight level 2 four, zero. So if there's a restriction at Logan, yeah, there's a thing we can do. Now technically, technically he's not top of 10 to the hold at Logan. So, so I should continue to Lambourne, head to the hold at Lambourne. Uh, but I've not been clear on the arrival either, so, so it's good. I, I do see it being talked to him in the next three minutes. But seeing there's aircraft ahead holding, uh, you know, I, I am going to enter the hold at Logan. Look at this all here holding! <laughs> Tidvu! Oh my days, look at this! Now, Keep these turns going at 380, so it's not going to be as accurate. Good 4 2 3. That's right. I think that might be Kieran, but yeah, it's quite hard to keep I the steep turns. Is he always in construction? I got 8 1 Golf. Route to Direct Sabre. So I am going to enter the hold because I did say when I checked in, ex okay, expecting Holden Logan, and he went Roger. There's aircraft ahead of us holding. We're going to enter the hold. Obviously, in real Manchester life, I'd be really hesitating him. Yeah. Z429 Mikey, London, turn right heading 095. Turn right heading 095, Z429 Yankee. Uh, Scottish, don't, Mikey, don't worry about it. You explain that situation Yankee, to the supervisor. Incredible. You explain that situation to him. Sounds like they're having a little bit of a few capacity issues here. Now, because I'm entering the hold, the speed, it really doesn't matter, but I don't want to actually go much slower than 75. Uniform, so we'll enter the hold here. Yes, it was for you. Uh, expect to hold. Hold. Holding over. 
Alpaca 7, uniform and hot bra. Alpaca 7, hot 5, auto bravo, no APC speed restriction. So many alpacas. I could Jonathan, yeah, but this guy's clearly... Alpaca 5, 7, auto bravo. I, I, there's an aircraft holding, I mean look at this, we're, we're entering here and all these aircraft are holding, so, yeah, absolutely, should get in there, we're, we're entering the hold now anyway, there's six gold fox drop below, look, look at these guys, look at all these contrails, <laughs> We're entering the hole anyway, 6 gold, 4 drop, 4, 7, 11. Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> Aircraft carrier down below as well, look. Tempting. I did see it. Some are holding at Lardy, which is halfway to Denmark. Where is, that? is that over there? There's an alpaca going off north. Is that where Lardy is? Oh yes, look! Oh my days. Alpaca 5, Tango Bravo, descent flight level 330. Wonderful. This is Tid Revives. There's Cat. Alpaca Charlie Alpha Tango, London Control, Register number. Cat, what you, you're not on a booking form though, are you? Were you there? I can't remember. Alpaca 6, Golf, Foxtrot, and BM, the street, good to see. That's all, yeah, you're there. Descend flight level 260. This guy's a lot of traffic to deal with here. Oh no, bounce! We've got some issues as well. Jamie, you're playing on Zahorik, go straight in from Hamburg! Lucky. Six gold fox from directly below or above us. Oh yeah. Alpaca five Tango Bravo climb flight level three five zero turn to the hall. Uh, sorry, disregard. Climb so turn to the hall. Climb four descend flight level three three zero. There's six gold foxtrot off to the left. I've got my list of everyone taking part. Eight, two four descend flight level three three zero. Flight level three three zero. It's been ready for it. Alpaca nine five Lima disregard. That's G face down there. Alpaca one four five to hold it, Logan. The one four five base then. Alpaca 1, 4, 5, thanks. Alpaca 6, Gold Foxtrot, Descent, Flight Level 2, 5, 0. Jesus, so it's crazy, look at her here as well. Look at us all holding! 7, 5, Hotel Bravo, Descent, Flight Level 2, 4, 0, contact number 1, Yeah, Lee, like Jamlin, you, you've got ahead of the rush here. We're holding at, well, I'm holding at uh, 38,000 feet at uh, Logan. With uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight other alpacas. No, more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten alpacas holding at Logan. We've got a number holding to the north as well. Five. Well, that's why I took an hour's worth of extra fuel. Uh, flight time would have been an hour 30 minutes, so we should be landing in 10 minutes time. <laughs> Addy, you came in all the way from Cancun, landed with full wings, expecting you holding. You got in as well. Oh, we're right at the top of this stack as well. Oh, we're going to be here for a while, ladies and gentlemen. Well,
And he got air quick. I got hot. I got lucky with the early slot this time. He did. Yeah, the Yankee. They're gonna have to start descending people. Yeah, I haven't heard any descents in the hold. The big, big load of you. Here, you know, load of you here as well. Seven uniform pulse hold onto the hold of Morgan. Is that throw pack a seven year from pop up or seven year from hotel? Need a from pop up. Just be cautious. I am busy, so I will get you creep from somewhere. Okay, I'm holding. Uh, he's the one that's following with three eight six zero. So it's back to seven from pop up. No, because I'm there. Uh, Alpaca four zero go foxtrot D seven flight level two nine zero. So flight level two nine is zero. Alpaca four zero go foxtrot. Look at that. He said that's really good because obviously the other guy's coming at 3 8. He realised I'm there, so he's going to step me down to 2 9. Perfect. It's a nice chunk down. So 1000 feet for an MVS is the perfect mode whilst holding. We'll change it to indicated so we don't continue to accelerate. Set flight level 280, I'll pack a 40 Golf Foxtrot. So he's getting everyone down. There you go, look, he's getting us all down lower in the hold now. Perfect. Don't know who should. I'd be sorry for just inside side it's overload London. They're getting it done by the sounds of it. They've got to chip away on these arrivals, they'll get it done. Yeah, Three two three five required in London one two zero less than zero two five. So Vina have just disregarded the hold. My apologies, one two zero three five right three two three five. Alpaca seven hotel Lima contact London one two one less than two two five. Okay, please repeat the frequency for uh, Alpaca 7 at Lima. Perfect. 121225. 21225, Alpaca 7 at Lima. Thank you, bye bye. Alpaca 5 Tango Bravo, descend flight level 270. Correction, 280. Correct, sorry, disregard. Alpaca 5 Kilo Hotel, descend flight level 300. 300, Alpaca 5 Charlie Alpha Tango, enter the hold of Norman. That's Cat. Just going to expedite it slightly. It's like it's sort of struggling a little bit with the hold there. It's, it's okay, I think, it, I think it's just struggling with the speeds that we're doing at the hold at the moment. Five, oh, look at that. Five, six Mike Lima down there. Awesome. Eight, two, four, That's David 757. Turn right heading. 270 degrees. It is bus. So we repeat. 824, turn right 145 up there. Right That's Speed two, Devil two, 17. Look at this here. This, look at that. That is wicked. It's not a mock F without some holding, guys. <laughs> India 49, Christian 191, turn left at 255. Oh, Kieran, I've been left at 370 and everyone's coming in behind is descending. Rude. Well, I've gone through your level then, because I was at 38. <laughs> you must have been the other side of the hold at the time. We shouldn't have done that. Glad I took a plane that could actually hold. The CRJ was hopeless in Hawaii, was it? I've not flown that in ages. That was the first sort of premium jet airline for Microsoft flights you made. Stop descent flight level 290. Stop descent flight level 290. Should go back to uh, level change, but then yes, we always push out hold first. Three, At least another 20 minutes in the Barbie hold, and then we hit, still have the Logan hold, presumably. Where's the Barbie hold? Is that. Oh, are you. Is there one holding a Barbie? Oh, 390 Can't be. Mine level 390 is your 
Go four zero Gold Fox Road, London one two one Destin one two two five. And what's one two two five? I'll pack four zero Gold Fox Road. Thanks a lot, AC. Good job, sir. Bye bye. Over to another controller who's also controlling the hold. Jim on wings 1 8 Golf, turn left to 250 degrees, clear 9 S, runway 22. These factory people need to stand it. See the other side of London? 250 degrees. Heading 250 degrees from that, clear ILS, it is a good job. Uh, one one nine at decimal seventy five. One one nine at decimal seventy five. Holding a large Wow. Good evening, Hotel in the hold at Logan, descending three zero zero. Alpaca nine five kilo hotel on the bush at descent flight level two discussion. Alpaca nine five kilo hotel turn left heading two eight zero degrees. Left heading two eight zero degrees. Alpaca nine five kilo hotel. Alpaca six golf fox shot speed two six zero knots. Alpaca, Alpaca, Alpaca. Zero Golf Fox drop setting flight level two nine to zero holding Logan. Perfect. Checked in. Thousand to go. That's once around the holds. Holding at Lambord 10 15 minute delay, that's that's normal heat for at rush hour. That's normal heat for at rush hour. So we've obviously got that plus this. Lambord is uh, 261 left hand turns. Greg, got to go with Curry. Uh, no doubt I'll still be holding. Well, you'll be holding. Yes, I'll be holding still. Wider turn, it's higher. Super. Lighting's improved in the mod, I think you can explain. Still a bit too dark in the sh in the shade, but certainly the shadow effects. Great. Manchester looking like. Alpaca 57 Hotel Bravo, decent, flight level 140. Flight level 140, Alpaca 57 Hotel Bravo. Alpaca 57 Hotel Bravo, contact Heathrow Director. There you go, look, holding at Logan, they've got the speeds between 15 and 41. Alpaca 6 Golf Fox Drop, decent, flight level 150. Decent, flight level 150, they're going fast. 
altitude 4,000 feet, QNH 1026. QNH 1026 is at 4,000 feet, right here, don't know how you can. Crazy. Oop, there's a little sim weather update. Like a 9 5 Kilo Hotel, descend for level 210. Defense 210, back at 9 5 Kilo Hotel. Like a 5 6 Mike Kilo, speed 250 knots, and descend for level 200. Uh, increasing speed to 5 knots, and this is flight level 2 <laughs> Give us a far away. <laughs> <laughs> a few more airports between there and here, though. I'm like a 4 0 Gulf Fox Drop, turn left heading 2 90 degrees. Left heading 2 90 degrees, I'll pack a 4 0 Gulf Fox Drop. Ooh, sounds, this sounds I'm promising. Like 5 Tango Bravo, route to Xaver, and descent. So we're exiting the hold now, left 2 90. I'm going to get rid of Logan and just route direct to Sabre, but not execute. So I'm high to make that restriction at Sabre now, though. Sabre's 160. Temperature's minus 44. And we're level, so we don't need engine MTIs. Speed 250 on our top, I can say Scott Fox Shop. So th this should not be setting a higher end one than this. It should be max 97.2. It's setting a higher end one for some reason. I don't know why. It shouldn't be doing that. It's low on speed, but it should set no more than 97.2. The order probably in and uh, MCP speed. So we're cutting off the hold here. There's Blighty. I thought that light illuminated then, it's just the, the shadow. Hello, Matt is. Matt, 16 bumps. He goes, oh, hello there, alpaca. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Hope you're doing well. And um, did you take part, Matt, in the green flight? So I think we can we're just a delayed vector. I think we can anticipate more holding at Lambord, but they're just moving us along now uh, from Logan to Lambord. So basically, we need a hold and a half. But this is exactly what it'd be used for if there was some serious incident or delay at Heathrow. This is exactly how they'd use it. These, these holds are designed to, okay, we're busy at Lambord, hold at Logan. So they, they're getting it done, guys. Can't quite see Heathrow on the map, but look. These people are really sleeping without backers. Three two zero degrees, seven flight level two one zero. I'll pack four zero golf foxtrot. strong. So two one zero, we're just going to level change. This is idle thrust descent, not going to do anything to out the ordinary. I know there's restriction at Sabre, but I'm anticipating ham uh, holding much later on at Lambourne. We'll just send it to you for minutes. Lambourne and flight level one five zero, I'll pack a five six, Maglima. 
are doing an ama amazing job. Just dealing with this sheer amount of traffic coming in. Ah, oh, unfortunately you couldn't make it because of work. So, yeah, Matt, maybe you can make the, the next one. Yeah, I think next one we could probably do a... Well, we do whatever, but I um, haven't done a crossfire for a while. Much better now, isn't it? Look at that. Lifetime live weather, of course, today. The stream usually runs 15 seconds behind live time, so when I s you hear me say something, it's about 10 15 seconds ago. Uh, cheers, Rasmus, for 80, 13 months. You've been here, thank you very much, buddy. Must have been one of the last to get delay vectors. Aircraft is off, but I can now watch your ladder. Great bog F as always. Thank you very much, Rasmus, 318. Glad you got down safely. We are. I'm turning 260 degrees, I'll back a 40 golf fox drop. There we go. Uh, glad you had a good time though, Rasmus, thank you. Busy, busy though, like they all are. And I didn't join this one because I had to cook some. 250 at odds, sound packer, 40 golf fox drop. Uh, Addy had joined us because I had to cook Sunday dinner, didn't want to end up in a hole and having to cook a roast potato, having to call a roast potato emergency for priority landing. That might not go down well. <laughs> You'd also be the first person in history to ever, ever say that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is get rid of that saber, I'm just going to redirect to brass, so that's going to update for you now because obviously that profile is inaccurate and still look we're still very high to make the land on at 7-0 but we can anticipate holding there so again VNAV don't don't stress about it, it's an inaccurate profile because we're extremely high we're not going to get straight in so when you anticipate holding just want to do a leisurely descent look through the VNAV profile so it seems like you know this this control has got airing under control he's just Getting everyone on a vector now towards Lambourne. 10 15 minutes delay after that. And, and now, from, from this part onwards, it's sort of typical Heathrow, really, at, at peak times. And I, I'm not based at Heathrow, but when I depart and you know, we check in, and the first thing we hear, the first wave London uh, departures, is, you know, uh, route direct Lambourne, expect to hold delay 10 15 minutes, reduced to Mach decimal 75. Oh, Yankee Fox, Yankee Fox. Oh. Does that cost you a frying pan pan? I just saw PA's drums I had to. <laughs> Brandon, you could say you had a bird strike smoking of an um cabin. No, that's not. That's. Set for level 180, Alpaca 40, Golf Fox Drop. 180 says. That's not so. Uh, good. <laughs> Right, right, approaching Brasso, but we're still on the vet the heading. Speed sign two fifty. Oh just I've just realised I had thrust up. Should be an idle thrust there. Oh, here's the X-Plane rain from nowhere at 22,000 feet when it's minus 30. They need to just kill off precipitation above sort of 15, 20,000 feet. Look at these clouds. We were praising them earlier, they've improved. They look a bit nasty. If I was flying through clouds like that, I'd expect some serious turbulence or mountain wave or something. And I did ask 20 minutes out so I crossed the ditch, control asked why, so I told him it was Sunday morning, bacon sandwich time. Got it approved. <laughs> you'd, you'd be rude to get turned down for such a, an epic breakfast. Oh dear. Uh, 
here. I don't know if you guys saw, I was not very well yesterday. Got back from holiday. Uh, my girlfriend uh, was not very well on the penultimate day of our holiday. I was fine. Well, I was a bit of an iffy tummy the day before, but not unwell. Fine. First night back here at home, and then, oh, the middle of the night, I was not well. I was sick. Ugh. But we reckon we, reckon we might have got norovirus. It didn't last long. Maybe 24 hours. I feel, I feel much better today. I'm not 100%, but much, much better. It's only fine to stream. So going around. I'm back at 145, 10 left. In the uh, resort. Left turn heading 265, I'm back at 145. I'm back at 3, you're going to shot 10 right, heading 270 degrees. So anticipating hold later at the Lambourne. Let's redirect to Lambourne now. Got in Lambourne later. Oh, there's a number. Oh, a number of hit back. Four zero zero Fox Trot. Two seven five number one seven zero and enter the hold at Lambourne. Left turns. Delay ten to fifteen minutes. Seven five level one seven zero. Routing direct to Lambourne to enter the hold. Copy delay. I'll back at four zero Gulf Fox Trot. So one seven zero L Nav. We'll just go vertical speed. Thousand feet position. for entering the hold. Bring that speed back. Two twenty knots. I know he said two fifty, but in the hold it will make no difference. And the hold uh, is left hand turns, 263 inbound left hand turns. So hold, Lambourne. 263 left hand turns, execute. Uh, and it's in. The, the mods behave very, very well. Very, very well. We're at the uh, top of the stack here. He said 10 to 15 minutes, and I probably mean 20. So there you go, hold number two. But we are considerably close to Heathrow, and after this, we'll be vector straight in. I'm back at 3 Fox Trot, Roger. Going for 447 knots ground speed probably isn't the best either. You're playing, I guess. Decent, fight level 250. I think he's going a little bit fast. 447. Thank you, Roger. Back at 3 Fox. That's probably why he's seeing on his radar return a massive arc. Yeah, 440, yeah, slow. I'd bring, if you're below 20,000 feet, bring speed back to 229. That'll help with the arc. And below 30,000 feet, you can set 25. Now look at that. We've got 56 Mike Lima, 57 Hotel Bravo. Look at that. Isn't that mega? Uh, I've got a 5 6 hotel Bravo, 5 6 might leave it. Someone above me as well. Chicken or fish? <laughs> I always have the chicken. Uh, didn't he say two minute leg times, did he? Should be a minute and a half, minute by default. I'm like a 95 kilo, tell you something like level 150. Got a 150, I'm like a 95 kilo. Now that 1-7. Um, no, there's nothing assigned there, but did he say two minutes? Uh, John, you're getting hungry with this food talk. Uh, Sammy, to have arrived opposite was Carnage. Ah, yes, we are entering said Carnage. Like if you're a passenger, you can just see that aircraft below. I'm back at four zero Gulf Fox Drop D seven five level one six zero. Seven five level one six zero, I'll pack four zero Gulf Fox Drop. There's a feet per minute, one six zero set. London Sonar Delta fifty one ninety nine, heading zero one zero at thirteen thousand feet. Thousand to go. All five looks great. Delta five one nine nine launch control roger. Uh, 
There is five six mile cleaver. Morning ahead. Can I find Kilo Tel? 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 Come on, Hello, sir. Ryan, it's a good fire. It should be sending to the Five zero. 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 Five I'm back at three more shots. Speed two five zero knots and descent flight level one nine is the roof. Tom, are you glad you're ready about delays? Yeah, the first the key is to leave first wave. I'm sort of in the middle end, but I'd like to mix for you guys holding. It's cool. Uh, so, so I'm sorry, uh, uh, all instruments left, right, we'll stand in a few laps for that one. So I'm sorry, happy with my old aircraft, didn't want to do it properly, so I ended up getting vexed about the place. Uh oh! What aircraft did you take, sir? Oh, does that. Heathrow did parallel landings on both robots, that's cool. I have no idea if they ever do that, I don't think so. Look at this over here. <laughs> so cool. Seven five zero one four zero. I'll pack a four zero go for strong. Perfectly stacked here, using the hold as it's designed. Getting us down all the way. Superb. Nine seven two five Alpaca four zero Golf Fox drop by. Alpaca Charlie Alpha Tango D seven flight level one six zero. Direct it. Flight level one six zero Charlie Alpha. Hello, Jutin. One 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 descending flight level one two zero. Jutin in one 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 descending flight level one two zero. What was that frequency? One one nine seven. I can't find it. So many frequencies here. Seven two five. That's a different one, I think. Yeah, that's what we got. Thanks, Andy. That's a good check. One one five. Just confirm flight level eight zero, please. Follow up 80 Can I stick up for you? Long frequency, 120.4. Ephraim Director, hello, Alpaca 40, Golf Fox, descending flight level 140, holding Lamb 1. Alpaca 40, Golf Fox, descending flight level 120. Yeah, should be fine. Central level 120, Alpaca 40, Golf Fox, drop. You can actually want me. <laughs> uh, I'll find five, six, five, three, leave, land, board, Not what you want to, if you heard that in real life, you'd be worried. Brilliant. Alpine 5, 6, Mike Lehman, leave the feed. Leave land, board, heading 275, descent, flight level 70. Awesome. Leave land, board, heading 275, descent, flight level 70. Alpine 5, 6, Mike Lehman. Alpine 7, hotel, leave at 10 left. Ah, they do parallel landings in the mornings to Heathrow for the early morning arrivals. I did not know that. Sandwich at A330, very cool. Enjoy the hold as well. Try, mate. <laughs> Good job. 
Pete, yes they did in the week when it was windy in Aguinaldo. I've had a few... Alpaca 7 Hotel Lima. I've had a few... Uh, 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 What's that, Pete? Uh, Sam, I flew to New York once and it made... It was mad busy, but this is a different bracket. Yeah, this is busy. So he throws you dual runway ops, it's called Tactical Enhanced Arrivals uh, Mode. Is that actually uh, true? <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel, uh, find out the ground, a lot of traffic on the approach phase, very, very busy. Uh, it is at the moment, but it won't be in about 30 minutes. <laughs> Get rid of Clear that. Uh, clear the uh, herd of alpacas. It's just, they're just going to get us in. Look at that Heathrow. Only on 27 left for now. There's a few of you coming in, but most of us, look, most of us have moved from Logan or um, Lamborn. Uh, not, uh, yeah, Logan to Lamborn now. So moved it just further west, the holding. Alpine 95 Kilo, Tower, yeah, one, two, zero. one seat belt sign on now. Uh, Fuel uh, loads, I mean I've not really been Alpine paying attention. Alpine 4 Golf Hotel, Decent Flight Number 110. Decent Flight Number 110, Alpine 4-0 Golf Foxtrot. Did he say 4 zero Golf Hotel though? Mm -hmm. I should technically one challenge one that, but... Yeah, I, th I should challenge that before I uh, say, where's that aircraft going? Seven Hotel Lima, I think he's on a vector now. Thousand to go. Wings of the way. Just aircraft just everywhere. That's like being on holiday. Alpaca 56, Mike Lima, descend altitude 5,000 feet, QH 10026. Descend 5,000 feet, QH 10026, Alpaca 56, Mike Lima. Six arrivals per hour. And now six arrivals per hour on the departure from. I did not know that. I was meant to hold it uh, probably November, November. So, uh, well, it looks like they got you in vectors. Was that the default 330? Fly Walnut, so I was behind you until I got my head stuck in the FMC preparing top descent. I only missed the heading. Decided to continue along the flight plans. I'm not live. Uh, landed and now watching you all. Very good. Well, fly water. One, one, That's the way to practice. Five. Practice offline uh, one, one, eight, when you're confident. Five, seven, join five. the network. Look out for VATSIM events. VATSIM uh, first wings events. Then events. Uh, new, for new people to join the events. So that's, uh, that's it. Fly water learning is taking place. So if any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, so John from Wiltshire permitted for westerlies uh, only, so that's the dual runway ops for landing when severe impact. Congestion occurs when it's likely to curve in delays 20 minutes will be waiting. Very interesting. Did you close the flight deck door? Yes. Alpaca 4-0 Gulf Fox, descent flight level 100. Descent flight level 100, Alpaca 4-0 Gulf Fox. Very interesting job. Well, the Aerosol 330 for prepared, it's probably something that I did wrong more than anything else. Ah, I can't help you there if it was an Airbus. Good evening, London Empire, Dead Train, Tango, December 20, level 140. I've had a chance to get 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 a it's not just us. There's no formal event going on at Heathrow, but there's a lot of traffic always at Heathrow. So I think looking on the VAT scope, you can see the amount of aircraft also coming in. That's it, uh, first wings flying uh, Warner. Uh, Bone flying rider Heathrow, they've got a ground stop for departures there now. Ooh. Uh, flight level 80, Delta 3. Delta 3, Delta 3, Lee 
So flight time is going to be 1 hour 30, being airborne for 25 minutes longer. By the time we're down, we'll probably be in an extra 35 40 minutes. We've got 4 tons of fuel, we need 2.2 for Gatwick. We can, of course, can commit the alternate fuel. Uh, so he's right. Oh, yes, well done, this has been yes, well spotted. We've got modern NG today. Yes. Four pumps, lights. Uh, Logan at required angle of bank 25, pressurization. 3.5 set and gentle ice on. Belt sweep and checks complete. It's always going to stop. Delta 5000, QNH 1026. Delta 3, descent altitude 5000 feet, QNH 1026. Delta 3. Alpaca 1, Anchor Delta, turn left, 090, degrees descent, 090. Look at this traffic. Heading 090, actually go 5000 feet, QNH 1026. 06, 5000 feet, heading 090, Alpaca 6, Descent flight level 90. 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 It's just north east London here, isn't it? Forward, your call sign. Got my map up near yeah, Romford. I don't know London. Like, oh, yeah. 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 Absolutely, uh, 0321 short. Uh, hands up, Claude Lake, see on Vats, and these guys are processing serious traffic. Absolutely, huge about. All stations in Lambourne hold and after Lambourne speed 220 knots by the broadcast for all stations. If you're in the hold at Lambourne or have left Lambourne, your speed should be 220. Great. That's really good information. Like, really great that they shared that. Instead of calling everyone individually, just all stations. Four zero Gulf Oxford, uh, I might have said this already, but when you get back to Lambourne, leave heading 275. Uh, negative, but uh, we'll do that after Lambourne heading 275. I'll back to 4 Gulf Oxford. Alpaca 1, Anchor Delta, turn left, heading 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty. 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 Yeah, superb work. Brett made it down safely after being told to enter the hold landward after I passed it left high and fast onto the base leg went around, but made it down on the second approach. Very fun flight. Excellent work, Brett. Sounds like you had a busy one, but uh, you did the right thing. If you weren't happy, you could always go around. Remember, every approach is flown to go around, so landing is a bonus. Duffy, we're just offline for a while. Anything happened? Extremely busy. Multiple holds, but they're getting it done. They're getting it done. In a very coordinated and organised fashion. So at least exit holds. It doesn't really matter because as soon as we get to Lambourne, we're just going to push heading select anyway. Excellent. This weather as well. Very nice evening. I don't think. I was just looking at his new Heathrow ground. I think it's only tower. So approaching Lambourne, as soon as we get overhead Lambourne, poof, push heading select and we'll just update to uh, Lambourne 11. So get ready to push heading select. In real life, you usually just wait until the you know you see the aircraft sequence or maybe it starts turning, so you see it starts to so just push heading select. So there you go, you can see it just turning right. Oh yeah, because of course I told it to exit hold. Okay. Heading select. And there we are, sequence for the next waypoint, because I exited the hold. Perfect. 220 knots, as instructed, everyone leaving the hold, 220. Oh, towers, handling ground and delivery, that's why there's no departures right now. Ah, that might be why the poor, oh, poor guy. <laughs> Yeah, that might be why you can't do any departures. I'm just going to have a little look on the Batsim map as well. Let's have a look at how many aircraft are on the ground there. I mean, I know a number of you are waiting. Oh, Alpaca Charlie Alpha Tango turn left heading 105. Yeah, look at these poor Nigels waiting to go. Well, there's, there's a big Nigel taxiing out. 105 to 5,000 feet. Alpaca 95 kilo, tell me if I'm born heading 7 <laughs> Two seven left, got it in there, Brett. Thank you. So we're very low, look, but level segment at seven zero. You can, if you want, update the cruise level. That will generate a top of the set point for you, based on that. It hasn't. Yeah, should have done that. Don't know why it hasn't. No, no bogus on Mogfs, Brad, and not not for the capacity for the controllers. Alpaca Charlie Alpha Tango, contact Heathrow Direct to Wiki Callsign 120 decimal 4. 120 decimal 4, Alpaca Charlie Tango. Callsign only for that. Heathrow Direct, good evening. Is there VNAV in heading mode? Yeah, yeah absolutely. You don't need to select V, you can select VNAV, but it's not going to do anything here. Why is it? No, uh, it's accelerating. Uh, I'll just open the. I'll just go out hold. But yeah, you, you can use VNAV if you're on a heading. If you're on the magenta line, roughly, yeah. Still use it. Yeah, Airbus, you can't do that sort of stuff, can you? Alpine, Alpaca, sending uniform, Alpine, Alpaca. So we'll be probably getting slightly delayed here following Cat. There is London down there. There's Cat. There's the Thames. 
Alpaca 40 level 70. Alpaca 40 level 70, Alpaca 40 level 70. Alpaca 40 level 70, 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 Alpaca So give the FMC at least to follow. I'll make a fine tango brother. Could you disconnect and reconnect, please? Yeah, no problem. Is that an issue with the controller's scope then? I'll make a four zero go fox up to a method in one zero five. Left one zero five degrees. I'll make a four zero go fox strong. Uh, I'll make a fine tango brother. I just seem to have lost your details. Could you just confirm your heading and altitude, please? I'm back to find Tango Bravo, Roger. Descent, flight level 80, speed 220 knots. Superb. Descent, flight level 80, speed 220 knots. I'm back to find Tango Bravo. Yeah, listen a minute. So, I oh, wish the Airbus could do. I'm holding the Airbus 275. Um, pre selecting a nav direct. Yeah, you, you can't do that because it automatically engages, doesn't it? Thousand ago. I remember when I first flew the Airbus, so I was like, what's it doing? Uh, if that's some servers are struggling, uh -oh. Yeah, look, there's a weird little... Oh, I did put my fix rings in. A weird little thing going on here with... Alpaca 40 Golf Fox, descent altitude 5,000 feet QH1026. So 5,000 feet QH1026, Alpaca 40 Golf Fox drop. 5,000 feet set, set. QH1026, past 7,400 5,000 feet, stem out of the set, engine anti ice can come off. Alpaca 40 Golf Fox, contact T for direct and call sign 120 decimal 4 way. 120. 204 with call sign only, Alpaca 40 Golf Fox. Thanks to Great C7. Bye. Okay. Right, we're going to level change now because we could get a nice little sharp turn onto base here. Date to the centre fix. Execute. Pretty much a profile for that, and then we'll do the approach checks. Uh, London Director, Alpaca 40 Golf Fox drop. Alpaca 40 Golf Fox drop, T for Director, hello, 20 track miles, 27 left, descent to altitude, 4000. So 4,000 feet, I'll back 4 0 Golf Fox drops. So we're a tad high, but we're going to get extended downwind here. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go for that one, just because I think it could be turning us in a bit short of those track miles. So a little bit high for that. So just 4 0 Golf Fox drop, speed 180 knots. Uh, 180 knots, I'll back 4 0 Golf Fox drop. Ah, I can use flap 2. I love flap 2 for this. Flap 2 allows you to, if you don't want flap 5 yet, just allows you to get to 180. So let's do the uh, approach checklist. So firstly, we check the frequencies, 1095, 1095, fixed rings for 27 left, 10 and 4. Uh, India Bravo Bravo, which is the IDEN for 27 left. 40, go Foxtrot, turn right heading 180 degrees. Right heading 180 degrees, I'm back 40, go Foxtrot, or not. Why have I got the wrong IDEN for? 180, 1095, 1095, the IDEN we're looking for is India Lima Lima, it's India Bravo Bravo, must be some weird explain ism all right well look out for india lima lima hopefully that will change standby instruments are set courses 269 269 so we're just waiting for india lima lima looks like it's hopefully going to switch over at some point there. <laughs> that doesn't sound right Two seven right. I want two seven left. Four zero go Fox Trot. Turn right, heading two four zero degrees. When localizer established, two seven left. Descent on the glide path. Right, two four zero degrees. We're established on the localizer. Two seven left. Descent with the glide. I'll pack a four zero go Fox Trot. There we are. Uh, India Lima Lima. India Lima Lima. Oh, look at that for a CDA from. Well, eventually there. All locks engaged. Vertical speed. Just going to stay on the glide slope. And uh, approach checks. Approach checklist. Altimeters and instruments. That's your goal. Ah. Set that cross check. Approach aids. 
before I'd selected that. Checked and set. Approach checklist complete. Perfect. I forgot to select flight 30 in the box, but that is what we discussed. There we are, look at that. 4,000 feet, once established we can descend on the glide. We go flat 5 now, 180 knots is the speed though, we'll still keep that bugged. Localizer alive, we can arm approach. We did say wait till we established on the localizer, but we're going to be pretty much bang on. There we are. Localizer glide safe capture, 269. Missed approach is 2,000 feet initially, and then we'll go to 3,000 feet later. Alpac 40 Golf Foxtrot's now fully established. 40 Golf Foxtrot, thank you. Speed 160 knots, maintain until 4 DME. Uh, 160 till 4 DME, Alpac 40 Golf Foxtrot. Now, a lot of airports, because 160 till 4, 737, there's not really a flap setting you can select there without fully configuring. Um, we usually just fly the flat 5 speed. I'll go flap 10 to, to help it out. I've noticed in the mod, by the way, flap 5. Too slippy, flap 10, not enough drag. It's like flap 5 and 10 aren't quite as effective. So I've gone flap 10 now. Six knot headwind. Look at it. It's barely slowing down. Like in the real aircraft, flap 10 is usually you, you'll get a decent deceleration with a non short field package. Um, it's sort of going now, but um, yeah, we've got an approval to fly the flat 5 speed at most airports, so 166 is acceptable. Uh, Tower 1 8 decimal 5, I'm back at 4 0 Golf Foxtrot. Bye. Yeah, they, they've and done such an amazing job with the ATC. Left on 5 Golf Foxtrot. It's right Alpha and then stand 225. Alpha stand 225. Sorry, speak quite nicely now. Port Tower controller. Alright, get down flat 15. It's a bit early. Just want to, because I want to check in. Make sure we've got figures. Can I have any Thanks. Do a check for still late. I'm just getting configured. Get down flat 15 for now. Oh, where's Cat? Oh, almost parallel. Tower low, Alpaca 4 0, Golf Foxtrot, uh, 2 7 left. Oh, poor guy. So just gotta go landing flap still. Uh, tower hello, Alpaca 40, Golf Foxtrot 27 left, 5 miles. Alpaca 40, Golf Foxtrot, Heathrow Tower hello, clear to land 27 left, 280, 6 miles. 27 left, clear to land, Alpaca 40, Golf Foxtrot. Perfect, flap 30. Match speed, landing checklist. Landing checklist. Start switches. Continuous. Recall. Check. Speed brake. Ah, oh, this. It's armed! It's armed! It's armed! Armed green light. Landing gear. Not again. Ah, oh, it's doing this buggy Dark thing again. Auto brake. Auto brake two set. Flaps. Damn. It's doing this a lot. Is it the time? Light. Landing light. Landing light. Off my test sector. Off. Landing checklist complete. It went far to my test sector. Right. <laughs> Disconnecting. What a problem. <laughs> Matching up there. All the pilots disconnected. It's very hazy. I can just see the runway coming into view. This, this looks like, like 2,000 meters visibility. Yeah, the flight directors have gone very, very sensitive in the mod. Look at the flight directors now, they're up and down, up and down. Like, look, making very small changes, but the flight directors move. Something's been done to those, which I don't like, so I'm not... I'm not looking at the flight directors, just looking outside. And every cycle, though. Fast. 
200. Checked. One zero one eight, ready for push and start. Two, one. Minimum. Continue. Thanks. Uh, four five two, push and start. One hundred. Start proceeding north. Minimum zero. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Oh. Twenty. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I just don't like the feeling. There's something wrong at the bottom. I don't like the feeling. Oh, the bottom button there, right? Speed brakes up. <laughs> Reverse. Oh, felt a bit fu funky though. <laughs> Reverse is good. Hundred annual braking. Cancel the reverse. It's a bit early to cancel, but I need to roll out a little bit longer. We'll take November five echo actually. This is November 5 echo. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Heathrow. Somehow I buttered that. It didn't. <laughs> kind of 1 6 kilos behind the departing British Airways Airbus A320 via Alpha 2, line up 270. So we're taking that one there, November 5 echo. Alpha Alpha straight ahead. British Airways Alpha 2, 270, line up for behind the scale, line up 269. Walker 26819, contact London 129425. Contact London to 129.0425. Thanks for your service and have a nice day. Bye bye. Walk us to 5 Tango Bravo, 72290, we're slowly here. Half Packers 4, Dura Golf, Foxtrot, right turn Alpha, Link 31, stand 226. Alpha, Link 31, 226, Alpha 40, Golf, Foxtrot. Perfect, so right on Alpha is here. And Link 31. Oh, I, I, I hopefully won't get lost. So there's Alpha, Link 31, and 226 there. We, we made it. Oh, yes. <laughs> what a group flight, guys. Flipping heck. That was busy. Yeah, handling wise there on the flare, though. Ooh, I don't know. It's, the flight directors are changing the mod. They're really sensitive now. They were up and down all over the place. Um, Anyway, out of trim seems to be in the wrong position. Should be a lot further back there. Think about seven A units of that. It's about five. It's just some, some changes have been made. Which is, I don't know. Uh, that that switches. That come off as well. Steady. I'll rub it to turn on the APU. I've been. Uh, Quite good at uh, forgetting about AC power today. Master caution, I'll be for the anti ice probe. So, Link 31, this is just stock X Plane 12, 2 tonne semi fix, which Greg to some of the taxiways, but it's pretty good for stock scenery. Works so well on the VATSIM network. The delay is undetermined, we still haven't been given any instruction on when we can release you yet. Oh, there's a lot of people just trying to get out of the throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Hey for you, Captain. Brilliant. So here's Link 31. Brilliant. Three giveaways to roll, guys. Do that as soon as we got to stand. 226, look if I pop my head up, it's there, right in the corner. Shut down, number two. That's because you like that's normal. Please stop doing that. Oh, yes, this is a bit. I don't do a giveaway per group, four giveaways. Uh, there's, only f there's only three people that took part in the... Uh, Long haul one, but usually I do oh one. Uh, so I do two every mog F, two every mog F. This one I'm doing three, and then for long special ones I'll do an extra one. I'll do three giveaways today. Cheeky. All right, lines coming off. If you on the bus. 226. Oh, there you go. At least they get lost. <laughs> Perfect. Of course, you know it's when to stop. I'll do it about there. Excellent. Parking brake set. APs on the bus. Two blues, red engines dead. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to London Heathrow. Wow. That was. Uh, Superbly busy. 
There we are. And this is really nice for stock scenery. We've got alpacas landing in the sunset as well. Five Tango Bravo, seven Unit Four Papa, two Tango Lima. That's uh, two tons over there in Centurion cargo colours. Uh, Edo's logged in as well to say hello. Uh, we've got uh, Speedbird coming in now as well. Alpaca uh, shuttle. Uh, loads of aircraft coming in as well. Superb. Well, look at this. Uh, let's do the clean up here. So anti coal off. GPU we can put on the bus. That will save some, save some uh, money. And CO2 emissions. The what else do we need to do? So that's the uh, nice isolation valve. Which water's on. Anti coal off. Transponder 2000 standby. I'll do the checks. Look, we'll do it all properly. Transit checks. We'll do. Imagine the crew's waiting for the next sector. Shutdown checklist. Electrical. GPU Why is that the not bus? connected? Fasten belts. Not again. Oh yes, I did forget to do that. Off. Probe heat. Off. Anti ice. Off. Voice recorders. On. Air conditioning packs. Auto. Engine bleed. On. APU bleed. Yeah, off. Exterior lights. Checked. Start switches. Off. Auto brake. Off. Speed brake. Start the ten. Flaps. Up. Yes, no lights. passengers can stand Parking up. brake. Set. Start levers. Cut Stop. Off. Weather radar. Off. Transponder. Oh. Stand by. <laughs> CVR <laughs> circuit <laughs> breaker. Go. In. Cockpit door. Unlocked. Shutdown checklist complete. There we go. Well, we made it down. I think that Vats of UK did an amazing job with that amount of traffic. So, so busy as well. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, it's a native docking. That's native docking here, MGS1. This is X-Plane 12 docking there. But for Munich, departing Munich, it wasn't. That was the um, the Sims, uh, Sam, with the, with the scenery there. Uh, right, let me get my list randomizer up. Do some giveaways. There we are. Uh, let me get the list of everyone that's taken part in the group flight. He's, he's going all over the place, old Seven Uniform Papa. <laughs> oh, I genuinely didn't mean to do that at the same time. Right, let me get the list so I can prove to you it's, prove to you it's unrigged. Uh, there we are. So it'll be three giveaways. I'm going to randomise it. There's the APU shakedown. Randomise it each time so each one, whoever's top of the list, will, will win that prize. Everyone that's taken part in the group flight. Oh, hold on. I've not shared the screen yet. Hold on. Uh, where are you? Done. So hopefully... There you go. There you go, guys. You guys will have the list randomizer in view. So there we go. So you can see everyone that's taken part of the group flight has just been copied and pasted uh, from the MogF bookings. I removed the slot required options, but uh, there you go. The long haul ones, group one, two, and three, they are all there. So I'll roll it uh, now, and then obviously the top of each, the third ones will, will be able to, to claim the prize. So the first uh, winner of the giveaway is, where is it? Randomize. Uh, it is uh, Edward H. Edward H. Well done. You've won number one. Edward H. in uh, four six whiskey. Congratulations. You are the winner of the first giveaway. Uh, you get to choose whatever you want. So let's roll it again. So again, uh, we've got another one. Uh, Lee Russell. I think it's Lee Russell. You have won. Roland left, right, and centre here. Again, well done to you. I don't know if you're in chat. And uh, one more. I'm going to even preempt it. Wait. <laughs> well done, Rasmus380. You are the third giveaway winner. Each one of you could choose a choice of a $50 X-Plane gift card. Um, or any add-on up to value about 50 quid if you're from the UK, if you want an Amazon gift card, that's fine. Or if there's anything else you want, like a flight sim gift card from uh, Orbex or Innybuilds or whoever does them, I can send a gift card easily enough as well. There's lots of different ways of doing different things. But anything, anything around the value of 50 quid each, if it's a bit more, don't worry, I'll get you sorted. Oh, look, we've got catering for the next sector coming up as well. Very, very good. Uh, Mason, I still haven't won... <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, definitely rigged though. Yeah, first time I've ever won something like this. There you go, Rasmus for 80. You've won today. Uh, but well done uh, for, for uh, winning. And uh, as ever, thank you very much to everyone that participated in the group flight. A very successful, albeit busy one. But I think all the controllers, Vats of Germany, 
fantastic getting us out of Munich. No doubt they did the same in Hamburg. Uh, Vats from Scandinavia also co came online to deal with departures from there. I'm sure that was all done very well. And um, with the amount of traffic going on, don't forget there's a very busy Vatsim event going on just for north here in Vatsim, Manchester. Heathrow's always busy. They've managed to get us in in a very realistic uh, organised and coordinated way. So very well done to Vatsim UK. I'd really appreciate if you could send some positive feedback to them. I think they did an amazing job. I know Vatsim UK, it's quite, you have to work quite hard to get up to all the different levels uh, and controls there. So uh, well done to all the uh, excellent uh, ATC uh, controls today. Uh, anyway, that's us done on the network. In fact, is anyone on short of final here? Yeah, we've got a KLM and a I swear he was on final earlier, but I think I was one of the last ones landing, apart from seven up there. But uh, yeah, thank you very much, everyone that uh, took part there. Uh, there we are, catering's done, and uh, I'll log off the network here. Disconnecting now, there we go. And hopefully the replay music is working and no crashes. Yes, the replay music is working. Let's see that ladder. I don't know how I butted that. It was a bit, yeah, something's fundamentally changed here with the flight model. A little bit off on approach there, I didn't like it. Either. So it's definitely changed since I last for anyway. Anyway, let's have a look from the exterior view. Have to make a lot of inputs. God, that's really loud, isn't it? Sort of a like, I don't know how I butted it. <laughs> That was almost a runway sketch. Get out of here! There's loads of runway left. Ah, both sides of me. Both sides of me as well. The runway markings are slightly off, like the aiming points are too early. Having said that, I didn't know I wasn't very happy with the handling. It looks great. Oh, I was just holding it off literally. I put off the runway for so long. Perfect. Let's do one now, max volume exterior, because it does sound awesome on the little flyby. Let's crank it up to max. Enjoy. Butter, but right in the uh, right inside of the way. But it's, it's there to be used. <laughs> right, let's have a look at one from the tower all the way over here. Yeah, the attitude looks a bit high on the runway there. There's the flare. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> there was a building in the way. But after the note. Actually, it looks quite good. Really Boeing landing. Yeah, I know. Loads of runway to my left. You lot. <laughs> right, anyway, I'll pop you into the wing view there so you can enjoy the approach from the perspective of a passenger on, say, row 16 or 17. And uh, enjoy the replay there. But uh, yeah, as I mentioned, Massive thanks to all the vats and controllers for Friday 18 for the group flight. There's a lot of people that have given up their, their morning, afternoon, evening for Friday 18 for the group flight. I'm ever, ever so grateful for that they're doing that uh, on their own back. So massive thanks to them. Uh, if you could be so kind to provide feedback, even if you have some positive or maybe not necessarily negative feedback, but perhaps you felt something could have been done better, they're always open to uh, input in that regard. So I'm sure uh, they'd appreciate that. As ever, thank you to all the members for your continued support as well, especially in the last two or three weeks, where I haven't been around too much. My last stream was over two weeks ago uh, with the group flight, but I, as you well know, went on holiday, and I was very busy uh, the week before going on holiday flying as well. I am off until Friday. I hope to squeeze at least one more stream before then. Um, and then I am busy flying uh, from Friday on once I've got a full block of five days coming up too. But I will be around on Discord. Don't hesitate or be afraid to tag me, email me, or not email, DM me, uh, as a as a member, that's what it's all about. You know, that's the, the sort of perks of being a member. You can directly contact me to ask questions or, or 
will tag me up. So please don't ever hesitate that. Someone messaged me sadly. I didn't want to message you. I'm sorry to message you. No, that's that's what I'm, the members of Discord is all about. So uh, I might not always get back to you on the day, but I do uh, endeavour to get back to you in 24 hours as uh, active members. So thank you very much for all your support. Uh, well done to Edward Lee and Rasmus winning the giveaways. I'll contact you shortly about getting that all sorted for you. Enjoy what's left of the weekend, and I'll see you on another live stream at very, very soon. Take care.